Hello there. Hello. Hello, everybody. We are back. We are back with some more Thaneth. Well, no, sorry, not Thanethi. With the Euros. Oh, that's a bit low. Hello. Hello, Nizzy. Hello, Duck God. Hello, Asonia. Hello, Jambo. How are we all doing today? Um, I am back for the Euros. I'm, I need to move my camera slightly. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, that's a bit of a different angle of me, isn't it? Basically, uh, we're back. We did the group stages on lives quit stalling on the two five three. Yeah, look, look, look. We got to do this 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 knockouts. We did the group stages on Saturday. Um, we 
are now here for the knockouts. If you want a little uh, update on the group stages, if you missed the end of it, we here they are. Uh, Sat Hearts through to the Scottish semi-finals against Rangers. A hey, six times we will play them this season. Of course, we get the TV. We haven't beat. Oh geez, too low. Normally, see more of the clock that doesn't work well. Yeah, no, I'm I'm trying to stay like relatively in front. I'm actually my bit. Is that better? There we go. That's better. That's better. Um, this season, that's Jesus. Um, so here are how the groups went. So um, as you can see, Norway topped the group. Uh, Germany coming second. Ukraine coming third. France topped their group in Group B over Greece. Then Scotland. Italy topped the group over Serbia with Austria third. Netherlands topped the group over Sweden. Portugal third. Spain topped the group over Switzerland with Ireland third. England bottom. And then Turkey. Uh, oh, Diane Martin. Thank you for the follow. Turkey top of their group with Belgium second and, and Georgia third. Georgia and Ireland unfortunately miss out. Portugal, Austria, Scotland and Ukraine go through. Um, so that is how the group stage ended up. If you want to have a little look at how the scoring was. Currently it was me and Chloe in the lead with 10 points each. Well, Sony was second with nine. John uh, it was third with seven, and you had Nizzy on six, and then we had some fives, some fours, some threes, etc. etc. But we got another nine games potentially to score today. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere around that. We've done 13 so far. Um, let's go uh, get ready for the first knockaround. There has been two games played because obviously I played a little bit to get from the end of the group stages to the start of the knockout rounds, and some very interesting results. Germany. Smashed my Serbia 4 0, unfortunately. Uh, Malsberger and Feldhan with two each. Uh, quite an even game, actually. Just Germany, obviously, a bit more lucky, and uh, Serbia, not so much. But a upset. An upset already. Austria beat France 2 1. Gross Kritz with two goals after Sunizzi of Tizzyville puts France 1 0 up. But France knocked out in the first knockout round. Austria through to the quarterfinals. We are about to watch Netherlands versus Scotland. Anyone played Transport Fever 2? I've been watching a bit of it and it looks quite good. We'll obviously wait for sale, but I have 13 points or so on my Steam. Oh, no, I, I have not. I've been playing Balatro a lot, actually, uh, and Helldivers 2, of course. I played a bit this afternoon, uh, but both, actually. My, my back, I'm still off work with my back. Um, not good. It's it's better. It's better than it was on, on, um, on Saturday, but it's still, like, I'm still having a lot of issues bending down and like standing on my feet or sitting for a long period of time so we got a great stream tonight <laughs> hopefully i'm not too bad I've, I've been doing better i was i've been having to sit at my desk to do work but i've kind of been working from home because i have to go lie down every once in a while thank you i've got i bought some tiger bat bomb and i also got uh some heat packs i've finally got a heat back on my back but i don't know what it is um oh fanatical there you go transport fever 2 oh okay nice fair enough i've never i've never seen it to be honest but yeah let's hope it gets better um on sale nice um but yeah so i think we well we have a little bit of uh barry stuff to go uh barry stuff the nethy stuff to go through because obviously we are in just about to hit june july 1st so we're going into the new season whatnot blah 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 um but yes Right, did I make sure I'm, I'm tending? Yes, okay, right. So, um, let us do some predictions. Netherlands versus Scotland for the first knockout game we're going to watch tonight. Um, Netherlands versus Scotland. I'm going to go for a 4-0 Netherlands victory. I, I would love Scotland to do the upset, but Netherlands look very strong. I'll wait for it on Steam. It's already got money on Steam. Steam sales are usually quite good. Yeah, that's true. And they're not too bad. I don't really do them as much, to be fair. Well. 2 1 Netherlands, says Neil Wilsonian. Um, there we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, how's, how's everybody's weekend been? Um, Steam sale in two days. Hey, lucky own goal winner. Ooh, that'd, that'd be harsh. 5 0 Netherlands. If Netherlands win, get points. If Scotland win, I'm happy. Very true, Jamba. Very true. Uh, Dark God goes 0 0 Scotland on penalties. Of course, we now have. If you, you can't do draws, you have to do penalty wins. Um, yeah, they all, um, they all the time. They, that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, how was people's weekends? My my Sunday was just lying down a lot. 
and I've been doing lying down a lot recently <laughs> because of my back. Um, with my new PC, I'd like to try and do new games. That's that's true. That's true. That's what I've been trying to do well, with Hell Divers mostly. Um, but yeah, okay. Is that everybody, Nizzy? What did you say? Did you say something, Nizzy, for Netherlands? No, you haven't. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually good on that one. Um, oh, <laughs> right. And is Chloe predicting? <laughs> Did you slip on ice or something? No, I didn't. 2-3 uh, Scotland. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, I genuinely didn't slip on ice. I remember uh, it was... What was it? Was it... It was... Friday? No. It must have been Saturday. Or Sunday. It must have just been like... What? I don't know. I remember. I just one evening I was sitting there and I was like, I was sitting in the chair and I was like, oh my back's hurt, been hurting while I was playing Hell Divers. And then suddenly, like, I got up to to like once we'd finished our, our missions and stuff, and I had the worst pain imaginable in my back, lower back. And then it just wouldn't go away. And and it's it's like it's gotten a little better. I can sit because I, before I just could not s sit at all. Um. So yeah, it's really odd. I, I thought it was a trap nerve, but it's been like four days, five days now, which is quite a lot. The pain of carrying Max and Hell Divers, maybe. <laughs> Hello, Squid. Hello. Hope you thank you, Duckworth. Thank you. Three one Netherlands says uh, Chloe as well. Thank you. Um, Max is Max is pretty decent actually in in Hell Divers. Uh, he he does like to kill me though with with his his anti personnel mines or Tesla towers or any other AOE stuff that, that can friendly fire. You know, uh, it's very cool. There's, there's the new. Well, there's an update slash um, doing well, Squid. Doing well, apart from my back. But uh, there's a new update, I think, on the 14th. So I'm prepping for that. And there's been a, there was a patch today as well, which added some cool stuff. Uh, there's like a new mission and stuff with a new, like, like a new main order for the community. And then a new mission type and new shit going on, um, which is very cool. Three, two. Uh, okay, I might get sacked. Oh, no. What's, what's going on? Okay, I think that's, that's everybody. Um, right. We're hanging around enough. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into the first game of tonight. Uh, Netherlands, of course, are the holders. So there's a big job for Scotland uh, tonight. Let's see how things go. It's a 4-3-3 for Netherlands. So they're going for it. Nassim, our boy, up top with Kovermans, the captain. Um, boy, B in goal as well. Struggling to qualify for Euros, getting FM'd. Ah, no, that sucks, man. Uh, meanwhile, it is a 4-5-1 for Scotland. Our boy... Uh, Watson in the midfield for them. So, uh, right, let's see how things go. Orange for um, Netherlands and blue for Scotland. So, can Scotland pull off a big upset just like Austria did to France, or will they be a Serbia and get smacked 4-0? Uh, it's an early corner to Netherlands. It's cleared by Archibald. Love is going to go towards it, but not get there. Phillips now on the ball. Uh, into De Kock, into Decker, Nguyenhuis, Swart, Vaca. Oh, and there's the goal. <laughs> right, uh, three minutes in, uh, Netherlands 1-0 up. So, Scotland got a bit harder here. Got slightly a bit harder. It, did, it wasn't even like, it didn't even look like it was like a hard for them. Keeper probably should do a lot better there. Defence should do a lot better. But yeah, Netherlands 1-0 up. So, uh, we'll have to see how things go. Although, it's gotten quiet now. Lots of possession. Archibald free kick for Scotland. It's into the box. It falls. Oh, yeah, Anderson. Brian Anderson playing for them. Our boy as well. Our centre-back. Uh, Scotland do win a corner here. Um, can they do make anything from it? That free kick, they didn't really make anything from it. It's cleared initially. Fulton's there. Archibald for the second time in. Fulton hits his own man. Today I'll be watching full stream because I don't have anything to... Hey, nice squid. Well, we, we've got the, all of the knockouts until the winners. And Kovermans just runs it out of bounds. Did I say I'm playing... Yes, you did, Jambo, actually. You did. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it and, and you get the win. Right, um... Christ, five minutes to the half. It's actually gone a bit quiet since uh, since that opening goal. Uh, although there is a highlight here. Koverman's shot is blocked. There's only three shots for, for Netherlands so far. They have that opening goal, and then they went, ah, well, we're not really going to try anymore. Um, that's quite interesting. New and Hoos, though, they're trying to get one before the half as Nassim hits the post so close to a second for them. L Scotland get off quite lucky there, and, and they're going to get into the half. Only 1-0 down. They switch to a 4-4-2. They're obviously going to go for it more. So we'll have to see. The longer it stays 1-0, Scotland, as we always say, like when it when within one, it's it's anybody's game, you know? Fulton on the ball. Early chance, McLaughlin. Oh, he's offside. He'll, it was saved by B anyway, but 
Big chance there for Scotland. Just strayed offside slightly and then also snatched at it a little bit. Um, but Scotland actually getting a couple of attempts here. Although the ball is back to uh, B in goal. Um, he goes up to Phillips. I need to, like... Ooh, love down the line. Sorry, Coleman's down the line. Sudassi in the midfield. Decock tries the shot. It's blocked. Uh, they try and clear. Deck intercepts though. Okay. Corner. Netherlands again. Ball in. Love will clear. Nassim is on the edge. Nassim is going to try a shot. Yes, he is. Cunningham saves. Coleman's does get the rebound. Cunningham saves again. Okay. So Netherlands start growing a little bit more into this now again in the second half. They know 1 0 might not be enough. Oh my God. What a save from Cunningham absolutely incredible save there that was a probably a surefire goal um from i think it was de Kock that took the, sh the shot um but an incredible save there yeah netherlands turning up the heat a little bit highlight after highlight for them they'll, they'll they want the one goal and then they'll, they'll stop playing again like they did in the first half uh vacker on the ball the goal scorer from the first half is tackled and cleared but it falls back into netherlands hands anyway carter though has got the ball okay never mind highlight over Half an hour to go here. Still only 1-0. Scotland with a throw in here. McLaughlin falls into the back post. Devlin! And as I said, when it's within one, it's anybody's game. Kenny Devlin, the first shot on target for Scotland in the game. And just like that, it's leveled up 1-1. McLaughlin lays it off to Fulton. It's a great pass. Devlin just, just falls off the back of Decker. Gets open and a lovely header. Boscut comes on for Sudassi for Netherlands. Uh, and Netherlands are going to be pushing forward a lot here. And Cunningham with another big save straight away there. It's going to be... Uh, they're going to be pushing even harder now, it's, it seems. Uh, but can Scotland sort of catch them on the counter again like they did last time? we only got 10 minutes left here. Scotland make a sub. So did Netherlands are bringing on a player called Ganzo. That doesn't sound very Dutch. Uh, Scotland with a throw in here. Devlin, the goal scorer, has got it. Tries to play it into the box. It's, it's intercepted by Ganzo. And Netherlands will try and clear it. Nassim's now on the ball. This could be a bit dangerous for Scotland as Nassim shoots over the bar from range. Okay, seven minutes to go. Cunningham goal kick up to Carter. Lays it off to Devlin, who's tackled there. Decker goes forwards. Nassim gets it. Archibald tackles. Anderson back to Cunningham. Just gives it straight back. Nassim into Vaca. Cunningham with the save. Covermans. Oh, what a tackle. Gets to the corner there. Ganzo to put the ball in. It's clear. It's just about cleared. Lots of blocks and bodies thrown in. Hutchin comes on for Carter. My goodness, could Scotland get to the full time? Are we going to extra time in our first game? We're watching the knockouts here. There's a highlight for Scotland. Devlin, Hutchian. We're into the 90th minute. Devlin, back to Hutchian. To Archibald. On the edge, back to Hughes. Okay, okay, maybe not. Hutchian on the ball again. Beats his man, plays it to Archibald. Back to Hutchian. They just they got it on the right here a lot. They just can't find the opening. Plays the ball in. It's cleared and... and uh, wasn't wasn't the best cross in the end, and maybe it's a counter attack for Netherlands here. Nassim's on it. Nassim, oh, goes over the bar, right, and it is full time. So my boys' team that I managed on Sunday's won our cup game on Sunday. Only gone and got themselves. Hey, nice Nizzy. When's the final? When's the final? That's awesome, man. The five cup finals are huge. Uh, especially, I, I remember having cup finals when I was a kid, man. They're so like, oh, yeah, that's that's fucking awesome, man. But Scotland. In extra time. And Netherlands have switched to a 4-4-2, interestingly. Uh, abandoned the 4-3-3 for extra time. Let's see if this helps them uh, or not. But uh, they start off they start off extra time by Martin Scott going back through the back of a Dutch player. And they've got a penalty. Just all of that hard work from Scotland to just give away a penalty within the first minute. Vaca to step up to get his second. And he scores. And Netherlands go 2-1 up. I was too shit to get to a cup final as a kid. <laughs> well, it might not have been you. Yeah, it takes a team, you know. It takes a team. You can be the best player in the world, but if you've got a shit team, you're not going to go there. And if you, you can be the, the worst player in the world. If you've got a good team, you can go to a cup final, you know. Um, right, okay. So, Scotland now need to find, try and find their way back into this game for a second time, but they've only got 15 minutes to do so. Uh, as We have another free kick here for Netherlands as Ganzo puts it over the bar. Um, Scotland need to push forward here. They switch back to a 4-3-3 now, Netherlands, which is very odd. Um, but here we go. Hughes into Archibald. Devlin. Devlin on the ball. He's got a bit of space here. And he's tackled by Decker, though, and it's cleared down the line towards Vaca, who heads on. And Hughes keeps it in. Okay. Um, Netherlands have the ball again. Oliveira. Back to Phillips. Into Bozkurt. Into Nassim. 
Oh, and this Simpsons over final. April should be a home ground. Hey, nice, nice. Why well, have you have to let us know when when it is? That's awesome though. Hope, hopefully you can go win it. That's that's. Oh, losing the finals fucking sucks though. Did I lose a final? I don't know if I lost a final. I won a few finals. I don't remember if I lost one. <laughs> I've lost a league or two. Hello, Bearded Twig. Hello, how are you? How's it going? You join us in the, in the Euros knockouts as we're watching Scotland try and equalise late on here against Netherlands in extra time. Ball into the box and we with a big claim there for the Netherlands. I only have four more minutes to hold on. Scotland have fought valiantly, but that big... The, basically, it's kind of been two mistakes, really. That opening shot and then the penalty. The pen... I just... You'd be raging if you're the... The, the Scottish manager. Oh, get get to to extra time, and then the first fucking seconds of extra time, you, the defender goes through the back of a Dutch player. Uh, but Scotland are coming forward. Are oh, they going to get the corner? They do get the corner. Can they find something from the corner here? Archibald to play it in. There's an open man. Oh, Anderson to Fulton on the edge. Oh, it's just such terrible football from Scotland. If they if there'd been some actual quality about them, I reckon they had they had a good ch chance of a goal there. But just no, there was there was about four Scottish players open on that corner, and they all just ran into each other. Oh my goodness! I might leave Shamrock. Oh, why is that? Why is that, Duck God? Archibald tackled there. Svart. It falls back to Bozka to Vaca. With what one minute plus added time and extra time here. Oliveira's coming forwards though. Back to Phillips. Maybe Netherlands trying to hold on to it. Bozka to Cock. Bosker to Cock, into Ganzo, to Oliveira, to Nassim, to Bosker. Oh, it should have been a third, really, for the Netherlands. A win is a win. It is. A, they got one minute, Scotland, to try and take this to penalties. But they've given it straight back to Netherlands. Want to try something different? Oh, okay, would you go somewhere else in Ireland or another country or what? And uh, Thomas Love with a foul. And I think this probably is it for the game. Scotland fought very, very uh, hard. But uh, the penalty in the 91st minute gives it to fair. Netherlands did deserve this. It was a complete FMing by Scotland. Um, but there you go. Full time. 2-1. And I think, I think, it wasn't that Bostonia that called a 2-1? Uh, well, at least to get a point. New league entirely. I'm thinking Netherlands. Oh, okay. And there you go. Well, Sonia does get a three-pointer to start it off tonight. Look at that. Three points in the bag. Um, that, I think, probably changes some things up, actually. Um, why don't you continue to save and see what jobs come up? That's true. That's true. I think we'll, we're Sonia getting three there. Yes, well, Sonia jumps into the lead with 12 points. Myself and Chloe on 11 each, but that, that perfect prediction was a, was a big jump there. Right. Okay. Um, let us get ready for the next game then. Um, but, yes. So, Netherlands, Germany, and Austria make it through to the quarterfinals of the first round of uh, first knockout or second knockout round games there. There you go. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Scotland, um, Vacker and Presses. Now, we're going into July. Um, is it... What, wait, are we playing today? Why did it say Portugal, Sweden? Um, Witten? Okay, hold on. Let's go... Right... Yeah, okay, so we got Portugal versus Norway, um, and then we've got Spain versus... Oh, Germany versus Netherlands is the quarterfinal. Okay, interesting, and okay. Yes, I'm continuing the save, just put too much time into it. <laughs> Barcelona 2-0 already. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's fucking knockout football, isn't there? God, life of a Chelsea fan now, just not even remembering. Well, 2-0 for, for, for Barca already. Bloody hell, they started off well there. Lopez. Who is it? Who is Lopez? I don't know anybody anymore, man. Lopez. Barcelona just have, like, regens just fucking spawning for them, you know? Arsenal still nil nil with Porto. I would love Porto to do it, honestly. Yes, I'm going to put too much time into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, managing, like, fucking three teams. Right, Um. so let's continue into July. We're going to have some players join us, uh, mainly Ben Nasser, Zap Latal, Niederhauser, Verlaine joins Cadiz. Um, oh, didn't he? He's he didn't join Cadiz. It's a shame we couldn't get him to work, but uh, right. Let's see. We might have to do some transfers. Well, there's a play There's players with their contracts ending, um, and we need to have a little look. So the transfer window opens, Barry. Okay, we signed three. Helmley Ben Nassar. I want to try and get you your work permit. He's got five goals in two games for, for Tunisia. That's not too bad, is it? Bloody hell. Um, 
Let's go complete forward. Right, for you. Uh, Stefan Zaplatau. Get you training as a winger on the right midfield. Because you already got the left sorted. And Niederhauser, let's get you on the left back as well. Um, although I'll probably loan you out this year. Um, right. There we go. Players transfer listed. Oh, okay. Mike Zek rotation. Nope. Um, should probably look at the transfer list as well to see. Oh, Alison Diaby. That's a big one. Hello, John. Hello. How are you? How's it going? That, that's a big signing for PSG to fair. Alison Diaby is a very, very good French footballer. My goodness. 37.5. Was that rising to 61? Yeah, that could be a, a big, big, big one. Right. Um, clubs in Wales release players. Okay. Jerson. Oh, Jerson got released at 28. Bloody hell. You know what? You could try and sign him back. Um, right, what am I doing? I need to do... Um, are the windows open is the question. Is the Spanish window open is the main one, actually. Are you were checking it. Serie A transfer, Liga. Um, La Liga. Rules. Transfer window. 1st of July. It is open. Right. Hopefully Arsenal get knocked out tonight. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. Right, who are we... We're actually going to have to look to sell Dewalder because he... He's unhappy with us. His contract's up at the end of this, and I don't think he's going to get a new new work permit. Aguilar, I think we're okay. Well, he's, he's an extra year, so well, a couple of years. Uh, Swain the Mud V3 is also there. Um, who else? I need to send players out on loan to try and get work permits for them. So, you. Can I look at everything? Oh, yes. Okay, right. All positions. Why am I... No. Um... Tarek Faroon as well. See if you get a work permit this time around. I have to sell you, actually. Um, Australia's fine. Finlayson's got a work permit now. Aldo Guzman. Maybe I'll try and loan out Aldo Guzman this year to Spain. Because honestly, I think I could keep bringing him back. Command Quinn. He's got a work permit, which is pretty good. Um, Angel Cedeno. Mm. He's, he can play centre-back. Um, Ghana, Italy, Ivory Coast, Japan, Kakamoto, Mexico, Enriquez is out on loan already. Owner, oh, no, we're going to sell. You're just, he's just hanging about this dude, Varun, at this point. Like, just, just, F off you go, lad. Just go enjoy yourself out somewhere else. Not here. Um, Mabuya. Oh, he's got a work permit too now. Nice. Didn't see that. We'll try and send him to UK. Didn't realize Ali Nassim was... Yes, he was. That was a, bit of a big one for him. I remember seeing his name and being like, oh, he's Afghanistan. I, would, I wish I wish he represented Afghanistan. It would have been so cool. And also, it probably would have helped us out a bit um, by uh, making it so we don't have, include... like It's not a Dutch nationality taken up, you know? Uh, there's the Uruguay boys. And Venezuela, Marcos Diaz has already got that sewn up. So, nice. Um... Michelle, sorry mate, it's time to sell you. Um, you have a car in as well. Time to sell you. Jackson, off you go. Owner, off you go. Jovicic. Annoyingly, we probably have to sell DeWald and Adriano because they're both just not going to sign. Like, well, I know Adriano won't get one, a work permit. I don't know if DeWalder. Uh, he's going to get one, but he's so good. He's really good, but I'm, I feel like we could probably go find another Argentine, I guess. Um, what do I do need to do? Just go, like, Argentina, South America, Argentinian, like, Gustavo Fazio. We could bring in Fazio. We have always looked at Fazio. Like, I remember when he first came through when he was, like, 16. Um, Diego Cabral, Hollenbach. We, we, I think... Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see about the wild. Is the problem is is he's he's still concerned about first team football. Um. But right, twenty one point. I'm gonna go sell him for thirty. How much are we buy him for? Three point five from Boca. See, like he's it's so annoying because he's been here for nearly enough time. Nearly. He needs another two years, but we only got one year left on him, which is a real shame. But. 
not not happy. Well, we'll leave him. We'll, we'll put him in the tactics and we'll see if we can convince him to stay or something. Um, sorry, we're, we're not doing very Eurocentric stuff here. Real quick, I'm I'm just doing some some sort of management stuff. Louis Favre. Oh, eh. His attributes aren't that good for how much he's valued at. Matias Fernandez from Uruguay. Yeah. Karras, if I know you're... Yeah. Yeah. Poor, poor Yaragui, man. Poor Yaragui. He's just fucking been screwed over by Porto his entire career. They just never want him and they just keep throwing him around. But... Oh, wait. Who are you? Sergio Lopez. Oh, yeah. FC Mets have been trying to sell him for ages, too. Um, is there anybody here that I actually, like... Could pick out and go, oh yeah, let's go, let's go like 23 year olds. Um, Brian Santos from Boca, eh? We'll, 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 Brian can't, can't, nah, okay, right, we'll continue. Right, we got shit to do. Um, post scritch also, I might just let him go on a free transfer at the end of this year. Um, okay, lots of loans. They make a 3.6k bid. Sarah Patenio, the only ones that want Garcia. Are you joking? He's like an incredible left back. Can we just go like no? All right, weird. Very weird. Is there any, yeah, there are Spanish teams. A vet, Michelle, a couple of offers. You have a car and okay. Um, you can go. Not to Wales. <laughs> um, and then Adriano. 12.25, 11 mil. It's a shame. Adriano, I, I hope for higher things for him. Um, Spain. Getafe. Leganes. Let's get rid of Getafe now that we know there's two teams that are um, giving him valuable first team football. I'd, like, I don't care if like they're cover or not, if there's the only options available. But if they'll give him first team football, that's even better because we do also want to develop them you know it's just that some of the time the, the only options are cover so you're like oh you send them to spain anyway because that's the important thing is they go to spain for two years to get that work permit because otherwise we have issues with uh like the wilder you know um but it's hilarious that barcelona are offering for rid of espinosa pepe 41 years old playing UCL knockouts yeah that's, it is it is to be fair um, yeah, other teas as well. Right. Okay. Uh, Portugal versus Norway today. So let's get some predictions going for Portugal, Norway. Could we see an upset by its fancies, Norway? Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go for a 3 0 Portugal victory, I think. Um, let's see. 3 1 Pepe. <laughs> okay. 3 1. For Portugal. 2-2 two, two Norway Norwegian penalty, says Duck God. Okay, I hope so. 2-1 Portugal, says Chloe. Okay, okay. 4-0 <laughs> Portugal, says John. Okay, okay. 2-0 uh, Portugal, says Jambo. Okay. All Portugal tonight, aren't we? Squid goes 3-2 Portugal. Lizzie goes 4-2 Portugal. Everybody's poor. No one thinks Scotland's going to... Uh, Scotland. Um, Norway's going to do anything this time round. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Um, Baron set to sign. Off you go, lad. Um, to be fair, I probably could have just like kept him around. And he probably would have eventually got a work permit, hilariously. But he's got Panama. Oh, yeah. Um, right. Off you go, lad. And let's get into this game. Let's see. Are we actually going to get to the game? Yes, it is the first game of today. So, here we go. Portugal in the red. Going for a 4-4-2. Uh, do we know anybody? Freitas, Miramar Rocca, of course. Airline, uh, Correa, Bonifacio. I know, I've never recognized the name. And then, of course, there's a 4-5-1. Back of old, of course, up top uh, for Norway. Missed chances, but also scored. Otterhaus, our former boy. Um... Yeah, the Norway did beat Germany in the group stages. I think it was at 2-0 or something. But let's see how they do versus Portugal here. Um, Norway in the white and Portugal in the red. Let's go. Um, and Portugal start hot already in to the uh, nearly into the box of Norway. Freitas for Guerrero. Stolen uh, tackles, though. Uh, Stolen, okay. Um, 
Right, free kick Portugal. There's a knock to one of their players already. And it's a goal already for Portugal. Just like the Netherlands game. Three minutes in, Portugal 1-0 up. Okay, no upsets here, it seems. Although, the Scotland did get back into the game. It was very close. It falls to... Okay, basically, the Norwegian defender hits it off his own def defender and it falls to, to a, a player who then hits the post and it rolls along the line and goes in. So, not the best of starts for Norway there. Um, but the good start for most of our predictions. <laughs> um, and Portugal have another corner here. Uh, and they're playing it around the edge of the box. Bakavold will clear up to Alvik, who is kept, keeps the ball, actually. Back to Bakavold, who's tackled. And the counter-attack is uh, petered out there from uh, Norway. Ten minutes in. Scott, uh, Portugal come forward again. Why am I always talking about Scotland now? Um, for Guerdo, it's a, uh, Branco. It's Branco, not Blanco. Oh, airline nearly. Nearly ran it into the, the path of back of old there. Uh, but Portugal come forward th again through Miramar Roca, who had a one-year loan spell at Thanethi a good few years ago. Um, Figueiredo into Correa. Branco, Simos. Oh, it should have been a better shot, really. Uh, but Buyo with uh, a good save there. Okay, 20 minutes in. Uh, things have settled now. Norway, no chances of yet. It's all Portugal. They have another corner. Ball in. It's cleared initially. Freitas, Lima into Figueiredo. Back to Lima. Back to Figueiredo. Into Branco. Hits the bar. And the keeper was just rooted to his spot. Didn't do anything. And it was thankfully cleared for him. Because he doesn't seem to be wanting to do much today. Um, Simoes uh, shoots wide for Portugal. It's all Portugal so far. The possession. Nearly 70% possession Portugal, man. Uh, free kick from Lima goes over the bar. Uh, corner again to Portugal. This one goes all the way through. Barrow back to Lima on the edge. Lots of players going to close him down. But it lays it off. <laughs> Figueiredo, and it's an easy 2-0 for Portugal. They have been utterly dominant in this half. And the 33rd minute, they get their second of the game. Did they get qualify? No, they finished bottom of their group with one point. They lost to Ireland and Spain and drew with Switzerland. So, uh, yeah, England not anywhere near the knockouts this time around. Their manager is definitely going to get sacked. <laughs> Okay, 2-0 Portugal now. Maybe Norway will realise they have to come out of their shells a bit. But maybe Norway, Portugal will just keep pushing as Correa comes forwards now and puts a ball over the bar. Norway have had a shot, but it was off target and we didn't see it. Um, another free kick. Well, why did Otterhaus mark Rocker just to run away from him? Uh, good uh, save from uh, the Norwegian goalkeeper. But it's just, just constant... Uh, Portuguese highlights and Portuguese attacks here. Norway not at the races at all. The Norway that showed up to beat Germany have not shown up today as Correa makes it 3-0 to Portugal. And I think I might have gone a bit low for 3-0. My goodness me. Norway, it's, it's interesting. Norway seem to have decent like knockouts in the group stages sometimes. And then they get to a knockout and then they just go, yeah, no, we're not very good. <laughs> as Portugal go 3-0 up here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pep telling people to calm down. What a mad world we live in. <laughs> Pepe. I was going. <laughs> okay. No, we have a Norway highlight here. Kverner tries to play it in to Nygaard. And Boniface. I was going to say, are we the comeback? No. Um, half time approaching. I think, I guess the best thing Norway can do is try and get to the half and regroup and go, okay. Wales did it once before, ages ago. Was that was that the one that got deleted or not, though? That's the question. Uh, Sandnes. Back of old. Up to uh, Edgar, and they have switched to a 4-4-2, so they've got, got to put another one up top because they know they need to score goals. Pep and Pepe are fairly similar, I guess. Both bald, true. Bring Haaland's dad to save Norway. <laughs> Haaland's great, 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 great grandson, you know. Lima, okay, we, we don't have any Haaland's in, in the game. I've never seen any Haaland's, at least. Freitas, free kick. I think if we go four, we, we put on the key, maybe. Tveit comes on for Sandnes for Norway. Otterhaus into back of old. Tackled by Lima and Samoz will clear up to Correa. And, like, what, what are we doing here, lad? Number 20. We just decided we're not going to go mark him. Uh, <laughs> just... Yeah, Portugal make a couple of substitutions. Obviously, trying to rest players now. But, weirdly enough, they don't bring off Lima, who's the actual player with a knock. But, sure, why not? Tveit. Norway asking a few more chances here. Oh, it's a big mistake, and they can't. Uh, okay, Lima's finally taken off for Carlos. A big mistake by the Portuguese centre-backs, but Norway can't even convert that, unfortunately. They are getting more chances, but I think that's more of just Portugal relaxing and, and not really trying as hard as the half goes on. Caverna plays it in. It's cleared to Veit on the edge. Tries a shot. Another corner to Norway. 
Uh, not going to show it though. 20 minutes to go. 25 minutes. 15 minutes to go. 20, 10 minutes to go. 5 minutes to go. Highlight for Portugal. Um, Simoes. Otterhaus with a tackle. Sandvik plays it up to back of old. Can back. Can let Norway get a consolation maybe? He's tackled. Forced to debate. Zandvik. Sandvik on the ball into back of old. Over to Otterhaus. Otterhaus is going to try and play the ball in. He does. Cleared on the edge to debate. And Bonifacio with another save. Uh, corner to Norway. They, they, this, where was this Norway at the start? But maybe it was a situation of where's there's not this Norway. It's just this Portugal where they just don't care anymore. Uh, one minute of added time, and I think I might get a, a three pointer here if we, we don't score in the next twenty seconds. Portugal, please do not score in the next twenty seconds. Carlos, please, Carlos Correa. No. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Correa. You you got you you knew. I, I you heard the message from me. Fantastic. 3-0 Portugal. And that's a three-pointer for me. You love to see it. Uh, Norway go out with a whimper uh, in the knockout rounds there. Um, and everybody bar Dark God gets a point. And I get three. Um, so, show you the update after um, after that game. I'm back in the lead with 14. Very close. 13 for Wilsonia. 12 for, for Chloe. 8 for John and 7 for Nizzi. Um, still slightly in the running, of course. To be fair, though, I can no longer get the three points for my winner. Um, Portugal is still up and running. Germany is up and running. Netherlands still up and running. Spain, I think, also up and running. So um, there's still chances to go there. Right. Okay. So let's go back. We have one more second knockout round game to go. We actually get. We'll see what the other second knockout round games here are. Argentina play Uruguay in the uh, World Cup qualifiers there. Um, as, of course, we have World Cup qualifying at the same time because uh, the World Cup stops for no man in South America. It just keeps going. Uh, I think we got Portugal as the next one. Oh, I saw, I saw something there. There's a Ukraine win over Italy. 2-1. Let's have a look at this then. Let's have a look at this. What was? I don't know what the other game was, uh, but let's see. Um... Ukraine win 2-1 um, in the 88th minute over Italy there. And Turkey do beat Switzerland 3-1 there. Sahin and Gokan Ok with the goals there. We have two more games. Spain, Sweden and Greece, Belgium. And we actually have some other stuff to look at maybe. Um, yeah, Spain. Okay, Spain are play, about to play Sweden. Fazio. No offers for six players. Martin Garcia got, didn't get a single loan offer. Brother, he's amazing. Let's get you training as a left mid. He is training as a left mid. Fantastic. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. You can have him. Let's let's go. Um, percentage of next sale fifty. Oh, they withdrew. What? Um, yeah, niche. Oh, these two got their work permits denied again. It might be time to sell. Um, Varun. You know, let's list him. Ben Nasser, we're gonna loan you out again, lad. Let you go somewhere, play football. Um, meanwhile, we have Spain, Sweden. Uh, Italiano. Yeah. Okay. Spain versus Sweden here. Um, I think I'm going to see uh, a similar situation going on um, with the Iberian Peninsula smacking the Scandinavian uh, region. 3 0. But let me get your, your predictions for it as I uh, do some work in the background. Or oh, Ben Nasser has got a lot of offers at least. Um, Right, let's see. First team football in Germany, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in Germany. Um, doo -doo. In France again, in France again. You can go back to FC Lorient. God, yeah, Ben says it's, it's hot property, which is very annoying that he doesn't get a work permit here, you know? Hold on, I'm, 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 I will I will get to the predictions. Um, right, check all the other ones. Let's go look at them. Three one Spain says Chloe. Okay. Two nil Spain says John. Four nil Spain says Nizzy. Okay, okay. What are we saying, everybody else? For Spain, Sweden. Um, I'll keep continuing. Oh, we're into the game. Never mind. Uh, one nil Spain says Wilsonia. Okay. Dark God, Jambo, Squid, if you're about. Uh, I missed it, I missed it. Right, this is not my day today. Look, no worries, no worries, Dark God, no worries. <laughs> Exclamation mark, le, <laughs> Okay, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So me and Chloe sent out our, our wedding invitations today. We're basically we're sending them to um, Chloe's parents in Ireland because then they, it's easier for, like, and cheaper for them to distribute them other, rather than us sending from EU to the UK like a fuck ton of uh, of, of uh, letters. And we were like, okay, we'll go to the like our local like post office. And we had it was funny because early in the morning we had like an SOS text, and I was like. What the hell is this? We looked at it. It's like, oh, there's like uh, heavy smoke in the area. And we were like, oh, okay, that's weird. And we go, we drive along. And we go, oh, shit, there's some fire fire trucks. It's like, oh, the post office is on fire. <laughs> the, the whole fucking building was on fire. So we were like, oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing we didn't go earlier because otherwise all of our invitations would be fucking burnt and the entire building's gone like if they just let it let it collapse and, and and burn like it was only like a one-story building but like i was like holy shit <laughs> so we had to go somewhere else to drop them off thank thankfully there was somewhere else but like holy shit we were lucky we didn't ship them off earlier you know um jambo goes for two nil spain john goes for one nil arsenal okay one nil arsenal uh two one there we go right that's a shame who, who scored for Arsenal? Um, Trossard. Okay, what was that? What's that lineup? Okay. That's a shame. <laughs> Let's go have a look at the. Um, okay. Right. It's a sign Chloe's making a mistake. Excuse me. It would have been a mistake. It would have been if it, if it burnt down. Thankfully, obviously the sign was that we, the it's okay because we hadn't sent them. You know, <laughs> don't try. Don't. Oh, I'm not having this dizzy. <laughs> right. It's a four four two for Spain. Of course, we've got our boy Jordi Bayon up top for Spain. Um, former boy Iriart on the bench for uh, Sweden. Glad no one was hurt. Yeah, no, no one was. No one was in it actually. So it's all good on that front. But uh, it's just wild. Um, Bjorn Lance, former boy at right back. We've also got just Bjorn Lance, I think. Okay, right. Spain in the red, Sweden in the yellow. Will we see a team not concede within the first three minutes of the game? Or the underdog team, you know? Scotland did it, Norway did it. Can Sweden hold on? They've got to five minutes. My goodness me. Oh, I was going to say if they'd scored that, I'd be fucking loving life. Um, but it's a good save by the Spanish keeper there. Um, some tired Spanish players already. Um... Interesting. Perez plays the ball into box for, for Spain to Isaac Angel to Para and Svard with a good block there. Corner to Spain here. We've got to 12 minutes and it's nil-nil. So Sweden doing far better than their other underdogs. Sweden do have a knock though. I don't know who that is currently as they shoot over the bar. Um, but let's see. Svard. We've got two Svards. We've got Svard in goal and Svard at left back I think that was. Um, but Svard gives it back to Ivan. Isaac Angel coming forward again for Spain. Um, going to be closed down. Plays it in Svard. There's a, okay, there's a, is that another Svard? How many Svards are there in this team? Is there three? Or is that a different one? Is it the same one I was talking about earlier? Jakobsen comes forward, though, for Sweden. Still on the ball. Eriksson. Okay, Eriksson's also tackled. And now it's a counter-attack for Spain as Bayon's on it. Bayon cuts inside. Lays it off to Isaac Angel into Para. Para plays it in. Oskarsson will clear. Anderson will... Tr uh, okay. Put out for a throne for Spain. Right, uh, 20 minutes gone here. Spain looks to go forward again. Well, Nilsson jumps in. Jakobsen's there. Back to Anderson. Tackle by in Insaruga, who's tackled by Nilsson. Back to Anderson. Anderson's trying to, trying to go la down the line, but just, what is he doing? Just gives the ball away again. Just shocking. But Sweden win it back again. Bjorn Lance is finally onto it. Oskarsson, my goodness. What is this highlight? Eriksson. Just okay. Just this this highlight is like Sweden are just trying to give the ball to Spain, and that was a terrible shot. That was one of the worst highlights I've ever seen. My God, Rosen now on the ball for for Sweden. Nilsson, Oskarsson, Nostrom. He's the one not with a knock. Eriksson into ja Jakobsen, the striker for Sweden. Plays a great ball through to Johansson. Can he put a ball in? He's gonna try it himself, and and a bit selfish in the end. A ridiculous angle to try and shoot from. Eriksson, Jakobsen. Okay, highlight over, even though they were in the box of Spain. Anderson into Jakobsen. 
Tries to play it forward to Ericsson, but uh, Angel gets in. Ivan now on the ball for Spain into Martinez. Iretta uh, on the left for Spain now. Uh, plays it into Bayon. Back to Isaac Angel. Tries a shot from range, and that's over the bar. Only one shot on target for Spain out of seven so far. Um, Isaac Angel, corner. Ball in. It's cleared. Ivan will get there. Back to Isaac Angel again. Plays it in against. Cleared again. Perez gets it back. It's not been the best of quality games so far, but we're only half an hour in, so there's plenty of time. Um, Ivan, though, I think Sweden probably happy with this, you know. Uh, keep it low quality. Bring bring Spain down to their level, maybe. Uh, Isaac Angel coming forwards. Oskarsson gets in and clears. In Saruga. They've won the ball back here, actually, Sweden. Jakobsen coming forwards. Jakobsen into the box. No one's closing him down. It's a, oh, it's a very tight angle, and it's saved by the keeper there. It was a clear-cut chance. But it was almost an impossible angle, really, unless the keeper just completely missed the ball. Uh, but he did not. 32 minutes gone. Free kick wide for Spain. Um, they've actually Sweden have actually had more shots on target than Spain so far, which is kind of crazy. But Spain do come forward again here. Probably going to uh, tell me I'm wrong. But no, Bayern loses it and Lance will clear. Um, as half-time approaches here, one minute of added time. There is a highlight for Spain. Will they score right before the half just to kill off some of Sweden a little bit here? Nilsson. Back to Oskarsson, because they'll, they'll be they'll be very ha happy with this so far. Um, Oskarsson to Nilsson to Rosen. Um, Eriksson, Jakobsen. Jakobsen, okay. Isaac Angel wins the ball back. Spain come forward here. Last minute of the half. Bayon. Shot is blocked. Isaac Angel. Sorry, I, I, I greeting you from Discord. He couldn't join because he's watching Arsenal. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Hold on. Let's, let's go see what he says. Um... Da, 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 da. General in Discord? I didn't I don't see it in Discord, but fair enough. But tell him to enjoy Arsenal. Um right. Back into the game. 442 for Spain. Are they switched? No, there's still, still four same formations. We're, we're into the second half now. Will we see some more maybe some more clinicality? from Spain or will we see Sweden just still holding on to this nil-nil and, and try and get snatch a goal you know they've had a couple of big chances really they just terrible angles if they can actually get one in the midfield as here we go Janusson to Eriksson oh I shot his block there it was nearly the chance in the middle there but uh, the defenders got in the way Anderson still on the ball though tries to play it through and Spain will clear again there okay Spain corner 55 minutes in and there you go and it's Ericsson with an own... I think, I, I think he's just headed that into the top corner. Genuinely, I think he did. Like, I want to watch this. Where is he? What's he doing? What's he done? He's just... That is, a, that is a match fixing. That was a, like an actual striker's header into his own top corner. What's he doing? He's been paid off. Why is he done... Why has he done that? Oh, my God. But where... Ericsson. Eric what the attacking midfielder has just for some reason headed it perfectly into the top corner of his own goal. What's he doing? I, I the way I saw that going, I went, that did, like that that looked a bit odd. What what it, oh, there needs to be an investigation after this game and uh, Oscar Ericsson. What is he not Oscar Ericsson, but that Ericsson, like, what's he doing there? My goodness me! And Spain now have the one 0 lead. If they have, they haven't had the haven't really been able to do anything. They've had to resort to paying off a Swedish player. Fifteen minutes to go here. Still one 0 Spain. Free kick to Sweden. Darlin puts it over the bar. Fernandez with the goal kick gives it to Darlin. To Ericsson. Mor Moreno. Wait, is that Ericsson here? They, 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 he's still on the pitch. Why? Why is he still on the pitch? I would have subbed him immediately. He, he, it wasn't even like he's it hit his head. He's proper actually headed it into the goal. What is he doing? Now he's playing up top. Well, of course he's gonna miss a sit. We gonna miss a sitter. Yeah, head it back to the Spanish team, mate. Yeah, is he is he half Spanish or something? Because like what the hell, man? Anton uh, Nastro with a good tackle. Isaac Angel by on another great block. It's, it's a shame that 10 Swedish players are playing incredible and one decided to go into business with the Spanish, it seems. Um, Darlin will get to this. Plays it up to Anderson. Can Sweden get a counter-attack here? No, Moreno wins it. Okay, Yusa comes on for Svard. L last 10 here. Bjorn Lance tries to play it in. Nilsson into Darlin. Oh, shot is blocked. Uh, saved by Fernandez. 
Okay. There he is. Traitor. <laughs> Bion wins that header. Back to Anton. Bion again. Isaac Angel. Into Anton. To Bion. And that's offside. I thought that was offside. Jordi Bion with the offside goal there. As with the last five minutes, Sweden need one to just level up to take it to extra time here. They go forward to Ericsson, the, the own goal scorer. Yep, just run into a Sp to four Spanish players. Why don't you, mate? Run into four Spanish players. He's a traitor. I don't think he'd be allowed back in the country, honestly. Um, like, what's he doing, man? What is he doing? Anton, two minutes to go. Moreno, Anderson tries to win it. Isaac Angel over the bar. Okay, three minutes of added time here. And just gone like that. And full time, 1-0. Shocking. Shocking display of football from... Uh, where, let, let's, where is he? Here he is. Oscar Eriksson. 7.0. Is that right? Have I got the right Eriksson here? I do. He scored... He's actually relatively good football. Playing for Port Talbot. He played for Port Talbot. He'd be like have a West Ham Lido. Is he half Spanish? No. He's actually really good. But why has he decided to just do that? I had nothing to do with the corruption, by the way. Oh, my God. Did, did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, certainly he's got a three-pointer again. Oh, I think I... I mm, the fact you've had to come out and say that. I don't know. It's a bit fishy. It's a bit fishy, you know? It's a bit fishy. My goodness, it's it's the the title the the the, the that, what a title race this is. We're suddenly back in the lead on sixteen. I'm down to fifteen. Thirteen for Chloe, nine for John, eight on Nizzy. This is this is a ridiculous title race here for the points lead. Look at this, three points, three points, three points. My goodness me, wow! I just can't believe it. I can't believe he's done that. You know, <laughs> headed it into his. It was they were doing so well as against Spain as well. My God. Right. So, next up is quarterfinals. And Belgium beat Greece 1-0. So, uh, literally, Austria, the only minnow, like, underdogs to get through there, which is a real shame. Uh, we did think when we said it, it could be all the good teams going through, or the minnows, or a combination. And realistically, we've had most of the good teams go through, um, and none of the underdogs go through, bar Austria. Um, so, yeah, look at this. So, we got... Germany versus the Netherlands. Austria versus Turkey. Ukraine versus... Well, I guess Ukraine went through Italy. And then Portugal, Belgium. So, some big clashes there. Um, of course, I'm spotted there. Okay. No, no offers for Faroon. Jesus Christ. I'll loan you out again, lad. Right. Germany, Netherlands. That'd be an this would be an interesting one, this will be. Right. He, they love him on loan. They do love him on loan. In Emery bid for Yildra. Have a wish with Jackson Manana. Sure, why not? You can go. Yeah, you can go to Rill. He'll probably do very well there. Oh, see, he's been denied a work permit, but no one wants it. He's worth 17 million, and no one wants him on loan. Like, I don't understand. Like, Christ alive. 2 0 Netherlands. Oh, Christ, we're already doing that. Right, um, Germany versus Netherlands. Let me, let me put this in. Uh, Germany versus Netherlands. I'm going to go 2-1 Netherlands. Jammer goes 2-0 Netherlands. Let me get your other results. Or projections, apologies. Not results. Um, right. Where are you going to go on loan to? Faroon. You can go to Germany. You can go to Italy. France. Mm, two one Germany says Chloe. Okay. Three two Germany says Wilsonia. Okay, this could be a big, big game in the title race. Four three Germany says Nizzy. Okay, okay. Um, anybody else I've missed? Jambo and not Jambo. John and Squid currently left to predict as I continue in the background. Um, yeah, we've got a couple days to get there, so let's see. Four quarterfinals in a row, then two semis, and then a final left. So, not too bad. Right. Let us see. Um, 
Okay. Uh, Langford. Oh, okay. Penny Bonner trying to just sign players. What? No offers for Garcia. It's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay, John goes 2-0 to the Dutch. Okay. Uh, joining Jambo on that one. All right, just squid left. So maybe we'll go back to this bit for a little bit. Um, at least you make Richard bid on like Zach on loan. I'm tempted to try and play Zach this year as a midfielder. But I think I probably won't. Hmm, what midfielders have I got this year is the question. Because we've got three midfielders now, you know? So it's kind of one of those, like, okay, who's going to be playing there? We've got Masaudi, De, De Simone, Aguilar, De Wilder, Cruz. Mike Zach could play there, you fantas. We actually don't have that many midfielders at the moment. Masaudi, De Simone, Aguilar are probably the three that start. Cruz is there. Zach is there. Dyson, Watson, Yilmaz... Marlin Kulo probably could start. Um, how did he do out on loan last year? Pretty good. We'll let him go on. How can you play as a bot ball wing midfielder, mate? How well can you play there? Um, not that well. Central midfielder on attack. I'll loan him out one more time. One more time, lad. Sure. Sure, you can go to Colne again. Mayana bid. Sure. Okay. Right. Let's see. <laughs> um, Espinosa set to move on loan. It's going to be a very interesting window, honestly. Because I think I probably do need to look at midfielders. Center mids. Right mids. Left mids. Even strikers, maybe. Maybe some strikers it will be fine for. Um, but let's just see. Oh, Julian's moved from Port Tower to ABBA already. That's a big signing in the Welsh League. De Witt's moved uh, from TNS to, to Rill. Okay. Moving from one relegated side to the next probably relegated side. What do I check? A striker situation. Okay. Hey, Finlayson. You could probably keep him around this year, you know. We've got Nassim, Barnes, and Jambo as the three strikers. Timo Werner is definitely going to be sitting around this year. Get you trained as a complete forward. Um, Ron Ronnie's here as well. Spencer Webb is an interesting one. Spencer Webb's a very interesting one. I think Spencer Webb needs to go out on loan again. Um... Nizzy, Kakimoto, Cabello, Finlayson, Dennis, uh, Valontaki. You go out on loan again, mate. He's doing well, though. Six million worth. Decent. Okay. Right, let's see. Okay, Spencer Webb gets one offer from QPR, which is nice. Bala go back for, yeah, to be fair, makes sense. Did very well there last time. Michelle, off he goes. Unfortunately, never worked out for us, but uh, profit is profit at the end of the day. Um, and Yuvakaran also did not work out, but profit is profit, as I say, at the end of the day. There we go. Good stuff. Right, and here we go. We are on game day now for Netherlands versus Germany. Um, oh, Napoli have got one back. Okay. All right. Um, all right, here we go. Good Karen. I need to make Castro bid. 23 million for Castro. Wow. For a Bolivian right back. That's kind of crazy. Um, Zach Antich on loan. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to reject that for now. We'll have a make Timo Werner vid, rejecting that one. Um, right. That's interesting, the Castro. £23 million bid. How high will they go? We don't playing right backs this year. So it's kind of one of those ones like, okay, Adriano, off you go as well. He was a very good player for us when he... The problem I think Adriano had was that we played no wingers for like most of his years he was here. 
Like we signed him and he had a fantastic first year. Second year we didn't play him because he, there was no th one there. I think this is when what's his name came through as well. And then we didn't play a winger again there that season. So four for two point seven, sold for about eleven twelve. Not the worst uh, offer in the world. Well, we move on. Right. Oh, we got really good. Eventually, we'll get to this game. Apologies. Oh. Let's see. Um. Right. Here we go. Finally. Last calls. Netherlands are favourites for this one. Let's have a look. It's a 4 4 2 for um, Germany. Uh, who's there? We got Paulak, centre back with Hauk. Um, Borski, Mausberger, Feldhahn, Tony, um, Mike Wazowski on the bench, of course. 4 2 3 1 for Netherlands. Nassim in the uh, attacking mid role. Um, right. Orange for the Netherlands. White for Germany. Let's see how this. Uh, power Clash is going to go for a place in the uh, semi-finals. Um, let's see. The holders versus, I think, the most time winners, uh, Germany, I think. So, Nassim on the ball. Sudassi into Rolefsen. Oh, and it's a poor strike in the end. A, a very good chance, actually, there for Netherlands early. Uh, Germany have the ball now. Hauk, Minkwitz, Gorski. Gorski on the ball. Back to Minkwitz. To Wolf. Wolf on the ball. Back to Hauk. All the way back to Linneman in goal. To Hauk. Paulak. Wolf. Mens. Tackled by Zvar. And he plays it forwards. It only falls to but it falls to Ganzo here for Netherlands. Movio. Some very interesting names in this Dutch national side. Movio plays it into Kovermans and he heads wide. Okay. Only four minutes in. A couple of times already here. Heller for Germany to Gorski. Mausberger. Into Feldhahn. He's tackled in the box. Feldhahn. B with a big save. Of course, we got B in goal as well. Um Right, 10 minutes uh, gone. Ganzo wins it. Movio for Netherlands. Into Nassim. Nassim on the ball. Back to Ganzo. To Eisden. Phillips. To Dassey. Movio. Movio coming forward. Into Kovermans. Movio. Nassim. Rolefsen. Tries a shot and Linneman is there to save it. Netherlands probably have the better of it so far, but not any big... Well, apart from that first chance that didn't really count as a big chance, but I think could have definitely been a big chance if he got it on target. Uh, Netherlands coming forward again through Nassim uh, into Kovermans. Kovermans shoots just wide. Okay. Um, okay, Netherlands have the ball again. They're already starting to push now. Trying to push for this goal. And Movio got a lot of space. He's going into the box. And Movio scores for the Netherlands. First blood to the Dutch and to the holders in the 13th minute. It has been a lot of chances for them. And finally, it's taken here. Movio with a fantastic touch. Completely does the left back. And uh, on his left foot, actually, finishes off well there. Um, Germany looking immediately to respond, though. Uh, they've got the ball in uh, the Dutch territory. Mens lays it off to Heller. Uh, Eisden will clear, though. And Minkwitz is in a race with Nassim, who loses. And Nassim is taken out by Bernd Hauk. What will this be? It looked like he was through on goal. It might just be a yellow. Um, or is it going to be more? And it's just a yellow. It was a cynical foul from Hauk, which could have which potentially stopped a second goal for the Netherlands. As the ball goes in, it is cleared. He'll probably take that every day of the week because Nassim would have been pretty much in on goal with another Dutch player supporting him versus the goalkeeper only and one Dutch, uh, one German defender. Uh, and Germany, meanwhile, are back up the other end as Minkwitz uh, heads over. He would have really liked that if they'd scored from, from his own uh, cynical foul. Or professional foul, as they call it. Um, Phillips into Sudassi. Into Nassim. Nassim coming forwards. Nassim on the ball. Into Kovermans. Kovermans shoots over the bar. And it's... Um, yeah, over the bar. <laughs> Relefsen into Movio. Into Kovermans. And offside for the Dutch captain. The Netherlands don't look like they're letting up at all. Very, very close for that one. Um, but uh, a lifeline there slightly maybe for, for Germany. Really... Maybe a, a, if the first goal wasn't warning enough, that one definitely was. Um, they come forward now. Gorski loses it to Phillips, though, to Movio. Movio still going down the right wing now. Plays the ball into Kovermans. It falls to Rolefsen. Back to Nassim. And he's tackled by Gorski. Okay. Um, Sudassi back to Rolefsen. Into Sudassi. Over to Movio. Beats his man again. Movio has been very dangerous today. Plays another ball in, but it 
does not find Dutch player. Corner kick to the Dutch, though. Ganzo to play it in to Phillips. He's completely unmarked. He just had a bit too much time, potentially, there. Thought about it a bit too much, and in the end was blocked from his shot. But they've still got the ball here. Nassim, uh, it's cleared. Nassim again. Okay, and highlight over. Only 1-0 Netherlands, but they've had 11 shots. 12 shots to make that um, to Germany's three. Sudassi. Into Rolefsen, and there you go on the German menu tonight. Burnt out or Mauer's burger, and there you go. Rolefsen makes it 2-0 to the Netherlands. It's been utter domination by the Dutch here. Sudassi plays it to Rolefsen. The left back has been absolute. The left back for Germany has kind of had the. It's been all down his side, and they look to be targeting it some more with Nassim into Rolefsen again. Plays it to Movio and Linneman with a big save. The Dutch are going for the kill, uh, and Germany. I don't think they know what to do. Um, right, 40 minutes gone here, 5 to the half, Germany just holding on for the half, at, I think, at this point. There's one more highlight here, Netherlands uh, in the box again, the Sim, Sudassi, Ganzo, Ganzo on the ball, holds it up, plays it to Sudassi, into Rolefsen, he's tackled by Paulak and cleared, Ganzo, Sudassi, Nassim, Nassim with a shot, and Nassim, the Thanethi boy, with a third goal before the half. 3-0 Netherlands at the half. My goodness me. They, Germany are just not, not here today. Nassim, lovely goal. And Netherlands are showing why they, uh, they're the holders of this tournament. And they're, they're going for three tournaments in four, actually, at the moment. But... We are speaking a little early. It's only the quarters. They still have to win this game and two more. Um, Netherlands have switched to a 4-3-3 hilariously. Uh, so they're going for it even more, it seems, in the second half. We'll have to see how this works out. Um, Phillips plays it up to Rolefsen. But to be honest, I feel like the 4-2-3 one was absolutely tearing uh, Germany apart. The, the, wing, the wingers just absolutely had the fullback, especially the left back on toast every time. So we'll have to see if this actually hinders the Netherlands a bit more. Um, but we'll, have, we'll, we'll see. Rolefsen. Into Ganzo. Ganzo into Kovermans. Kovermans into Rolefsen. Kovermans. Over to Phillips. Neuenhaus. Sudassi. Rolefsen. Rolefsen turns his man. Oh, gets a big a shot off and Linneman with a save there. Okay. Ganzo plays it in. It's cleared by Wolf. Okay. Um, Germany make a couple of substitutions here. Um, but I think unless there's a, a major comeback on it's a little too late however i guess we still have half an hour to go uh they get a shot on target there second of the game for them but b it hasn't had to do much today he does make the save uh with ease okay zvart into ganzo up to nasim nasim coming forwards and he takes a shot on he's again a bit confident there overconfident potentially and puts it wide down the line again the sims on it he's got two defenders on him plays it back to Kovermans Kovermans with a shot and Linneman saves even though it probably was going out for a goal kick uh, he can't be too careful Kovermans free kick just wide um, half an hour to go uh, Mauersberger free kick over the bar for Germany um, put Kammer on for Hauk for Germany I think that's all their subs done Kovermans free kick hits the post close very close there, but second half a bit. I don't know. They've been highlights, but not as not as frequent. Maybe maybe they've sat off a little bit as well. Um, but Netherlands do have the ball again here. Rolefsen. Okay, Haman um, tackle and oh, it's a big mistake. It's a big mistake from B. And Mauersberger has one back for Germany. B decided to come for it. A long ball over the top. Com tries to come for it. Completely misses it and nearly gets a red card himself. Uh, probably a good thing he didn't make contact there, actually. Um, but 3-1, is there? Is there? Maybe. Maybe. Kovermans with a shot, though, and Linneman um, with the save. Another corner for the Netherlands. They're going to try and seal this off with a fourth quickly, it seems. Ganzo. Don't let Germany get too much hope, maybe. Nassim, Phillips, Ganzo to Rolefsen, and Linneman with another big save. He's been... Is that 12 saves he's made today? Ganzo plays the ball in. Another corner. Ganzo to go again. Maybe get a bit further in. Close to the edge of the box. And the sim, completely unmarked, goes to the shot and just wide. Okay. 15 minutes to go here. Time running out for Germany if they want to make this comeback. Boskirk comes on for Ganzo. Neuenhaus plays a ball in. Falls to the sim on the edge. Goes back to Neuenhaus. 
into Rolefsen. It's cleared. Sudassi will be get there. They're only 10 minutes to go. They need to get two very quick goals here, Germany. And Netherlands seem to be the best sort of defense is attack as they attack again. And the Sim forces another save out of Linneman. Uh, the funny thing is the Netherlands have only had one shot on target, one clear-cut chance. But they had 31 shots today. Um, 17 on target, which is kind of crazy. Seven minutes to go here. Germany have a chance here. Mausberger. Oh, very close. If that had gone in, we, we were really be in for an interesting last five. Although they've got the ball again here. Mens. Balls to Wolf. To Mens. Weisner. Wolf. Weisner. Wolf. Back to Mens. Back to Weisner. They're just playing between each other at this point. Haman. Wolf. Mens. And it's cleared. But it falls back to Weisner. Tries to play it and it's blocked again. Mens, Weisner, Brun, and over the bar. After all that, just whack it over the bar. And I think that's going to be it here uh, as we go into added time here. A very dominant Dutch win here over Germany. Um, and Germany are going to go back to the drawing board, obviously, after this one. Because, my goodness me, the Netherlands were completely in a, in a class of their own versus the Germans here. It didn't feel like two heavyweights coming up against each other. Um, it felt like one of those underdog games and Germany were the underdogs. Bozka into Sudassi who puts it forwards there. Heller uh, does do well actually with it there and we're into the final minutes of the game. Did anyone have 3-1 Netherlands? That is the question here. Let's go have a look. There was a bit of switching here. Uh, no, no one had 3-1 Netherlands. I had 2-1 Netherlands. No points of Wilsonia or... Nizzy or Chloe, but Jambo and John have 2 0 each, so big swing there, maybe. Well, one point swing. Um, but there we go. Right, first quarter final in the books as Netherlands put their way into the semi final. There, Mausberger does get up to five goals. Um, the Sim also on five goals. Look at that, two Thanethi boys and top goal scorers. Lovely to see. More spotted. <laughs> Been spotted. Next up, Austria versus Turkey. Now, that's been an interesting one. We're all obviously all hoping for Austria. Turkey have won the Euros before. I don't think Austria have. I'd love to see Austria go all the way. But they need a lot of luck, I think. Um, Austria versus Turkey. I am going to go for a 3-0 Turkey victory here. Um, I think it's going to be pretty chill for them, to be honest. But we'll see how things go. Oh, Barry would make a bid for Langford as well. Interesting. He's very good, actually, from Stoke. I think I scouted him at one point. Um, right. 2-1 Austria, says Kai. Oh, going for the underdogs. Okay, okay. 2-0 uh, Austria, says Jamba. Okay, okay. We're, gonna, we're all going for... Okay, well, Sonia joins me with Turkey. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um... Right, da -da -da. I'm just continuing in the background. John goes 2-0 Turkey. Uh, okay, 2-0 Turkey. Just waiting on Nizzy, I think. Yes. Right, we are at the game day as well. So, good stuff. Offs made for Gerard. 1-0 Austria. Oh, okay. We've got a lot of Austria today. A lot of Austria. It's interesting. Everybody hoping for the underdog victory. Right. Um, Piriard. Okay, interesting. Um going on here no i don't think so right off we go then um turkey our favorites here it is a 4-1-2-3 for austria gross cuts up top uh do we know anybody in this side um smart schmerz are in goal i don't think we know anybody here uh meanwhile turkey doing something very odd here going with a 5-3-2 uh yildrim of course our former boy up top chishek we know him we know sahim we know gok and ok uh, setting Kaya playing centre back. Tanner Reese saw him on the bench. Very interesting formation from Turkey. There in the red, Austria in the white. Let's see how this quarter final of the, I guess, the well, two of the smaller sides uh, in this tournament go. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Pazenbach with a tackle there. Hein will try and clear Engels. Goes up to Grosskritz, who was the hero of the first knockout round when they knocked out France. Can he do more of that today? As Bertram on the ball to Grosskreutz. Raphael plays it into the back post. Hein hits the post for Austria. A huge early chance there. He was fighting against two uh, Turkish defenders. But my goodness, that was a close one. Uh, and Austria seemed to be getting a bit of possession here. Grosskreutz into Duva. 
And oh, we don't, do we know du Duva as well, I think? Um, we've been offered him a few times. Tanner Reese. Okay, Pazenbok into Maya, but he's tackled by Gokhan Ox. Sahin plays a forward to Yildrim. Um, obviously, the, the 50, was it 55 million we sold him for? Did I put Yildrim on the, the leading transfers? I didn't. I need to put Yildrim on the leading transfers page. Right. Uh, Duvert with a free kick. Ooh, just wide. It's been, I'd say, relatively even, if not more, for Austria so far. But 35 minutes in, still nil-nil. Gokhan -nil. Ox, I thought that was going straight in. Um, 10 minutes to go to the half. Zafa Kudu tries to play it in. Sahin will uh, head wide. Five to the half now. Will we see a change in anything? Austria has apparently switched defensive uh, there, which is not good, maybe. Uh, Turkey may be growing into this game a bit more, but half time. Uh, Turkey stay the same formation. Interesting. Very interesting. We'll see what Austria do um, as Unver fouls high in the first few minutes there. One goal could be all the difference in this game, maybe. Raphael. Okay, never mind. Um, right. Strasser first on for Lehmann. The first blink goes to Austria. Duva free kick. They got no one forward. They hit the wall from the free kick. It could have been a good one there if it got through. Uh, Gokal Glan comes on for Yildrin for Turkey uh, as Turkey make their first substitution. Uh, they're still in their 5-3-2 their formation. And Gokal Glan is on and he's side netting. Oh, his first big chance of the game and the first clear-cut chance of the game. So close. Arakan comes on for Gokhan for Turkey as well. Uh, Akira Hassan comes on for Kuru. Turkey used all of their subs now already. 50 minutes to go here. Um, still nil-nil. Very low highlights. But Gokhan Glan, Schmercher with a big save. And Pazant Bok will clear up to Grosskritz. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. If, if Turkey get an injury, they're down to 10. Austria still have two in the bag at the moment. But we're going down to the end of the time here. There's the uh, Dogen Lausch on for Raphael for Austria. Um, and Schmerzer with another save there for Austria with 10 minutes to go. Turkey do seem to be a bit more on top here with highlights at least wise. Um, and there it is Palmans, Palmans Hoffer for Austria, the last sub. Um, Engels tackles into Unver, Sahin. Uh, Arakan puts it way wide with five minutes to go here. Looks like we're going to extra time in this game. Three minutes of added time unless someone can find a late, late winner here. There's a highlight with 20 seconds to go. Just check. Oh, just wide. Right. Into extra time we go. Second time of the tournament. We're into extra time here. Um, first time of the quarterfinals. Let's see who can outlast the other. Because this is when injuries start to take hold. And and, and uh, 10 men OP maybe. Or 10 men not OP. We'll have to see. Uh, we didn't get to see penalties in the Scotland game. Because they conceded in the first minute. But uh, we have a first highlight of extra time. In the added time of extra time here. As Gokka Glan... Has a shot out for a throw-in. Um, and that's our half-time and extra time. Uh, Austria actually have switched to a 4-5-1 flat midfield. So they're obviously going a little bit more defensive, I think. Trying to hold out for penalties here, maybe. Hein on the ball. Okay, loses out. Saw him with a yellow card. A lot of possession for Austria recently, but it's a corner for Turkey. It's cleared, but back out to Gok uh, Gland. Played in and over the bar. Very close. 10 minutes to go here. Setting Kai a free kick. Schmerzer. Oh, and it's a rebound goal. Gokhan Chicek with the goal for Turkey. Oh, how depressing for Austria. And after all that time, setting Kai, Schmerzer just. Oh, FM15. You, know, you do know how to make it anticlimactic, don't you? Oh, after all that, 112 minutes just to give us that. And there's a one more highlight, maybe. Could Austria try and find an equaliser? Gokhan Glan, meanwhile, comes the other way. Arik Khan, shot block. Gokhan Glan, another save from Schmerzer. That's a real, real shame for, for Austria. I, I thought they might have a chance if they go to penalties, but they were, they were, were you could tell probably from the second half they were playing for penalties. Um, but that free kick just did them in. And it looks like it's going to be Turkey heading on to the semi-finals here. Sahin, Arik Khan, Chichek. Gokhan Glan is 2-0 Turkey. And I think some people had 2-0 Turkey. I think there was a... There was a did some, was it John had 2-0 Turkey, maybe? Arakan into Chichek. And two goals there in extra time for Turkey. Makes it seem a bit more comfortable than it probably was. Um, but Turkey will be moving on. Um, unless they, It'd be very funny if they get a third now, because I had 3-0. And that would be extremely funny. Um... <laughs> But Austria, unfortunately, not going to be making it further 
than the uh, quarters this time around. Grosskrutz on the ball. Into Strasser. Hein. Duva. Grosskrutz. Palmenshofer. Last 10 seconds here. Probably just like the end highlight here. Grosskrutz. Back to Palmenshofer. There you go. 2 0 Turkey. Um, it took us an extra time just to. We're not, we're not going to see a penalty this time. And it was John with the three points. 2 1. Had also now it's very close. Three points for John. What does that do to the standings? Because I know John was maybe sitting around fourth position at that point. Um, that brings John up to level position with. Um, oh, and I'm at level. Myself and Wilsoni are both on 17. Chloe and John on 13 each. Nizzy next with eight. And then Jambo and Scoop with seven each. My goodness me. Okay. Very, very close, everybody. Right. Two quarterfinals down. Two to go. Right. Next up. I don't even know what we got next up. Um, let us see. No, Belgium's last, I think. Oh, excuse me. Is it Spain, someone? Was it Spain, Belgium last? Let us see. Um, gentlemen, Ben Nasser off to our. Okay, it is Ukraine versus Spain. It's Portugal, Belgium. Okay, Ukraine versus Spain is up next. Now, this could be an interesting game. Uh, Ukraine versus Spain. I'm going to go for a Spain victory, I think. I think Spain aren't playing well, but I think they're going to win anyway, just like the um, other game. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yes. Fantastic. I, I was scouting some strikers uh, to bring in, and I'm. Yeah. Tomic available for eleven point two five million. Interesting. Right. Okay. Here we go. We got some some predictions here. Um, Chloe goes for two nil Spain. John goes for three nil Spain. Wilsonia well, also going for 2 0 Spain. Okay, okay. Um, Jambo Nizzi, what are you saying for Spain versus Ukraine? Um, Goran Momic as an option. 4 3 Ukraine. Wow, big result there, that would be. So I, I hope it comes true. I hope it comes true. Right. Um, so. Vandro, Vandro's very good. Basically, I'm scouting some strikers. I, I've I've picked a list of six strikers here. Um, so I've I've fa I've found six strikers that I was looking at signing. So first we've got up first we have Victor Manuel Martinez, who's a Spanish striker from Sporting. Um, got some really good physicals on him. I don't know if I'll actually be able to sign him, but looks very good. Good poor composure though. Um. Report-wise, he looks okay. Potential, great pace. Got lots of good physicals on him. Next up, we've got Daniel Apolito from Uruguay and from Nacional. Um, 19 years old, so a bit younger. Not as well-rounded physically. Got very good finishing, though. Already got pulled up for, U for Uruguay, but I don't think I can sign him due to the fact that I've got too many Uruguayans at this point. Then we have Pereira, who's a French striker. 17 from Barry. Um... He looks very good, to be honest with you. Um, relishes big matches. I might try and bid for Sandra Pereira. Can I sign him, though? What is my fr French situation going on? Um, I have... Oh, yeah, these are the issues here. I've got French players that have switched nationalities. But I think we can sign him anyway. 16 million. I can go... Like this. We'll do that for now. Then we've got Pena, uh, Jami Pena, who's a Mexican striker. Obviously, work permit might be an issue. But he's wanted by Lanciano. Not, not the greatest. Maybe Pena's probably out. I'd say, yeah, Pena's definitely out. Momic, I've actually put a bid in for him. He's a Serbian striker playing for Blythe. Looks very good. Twenty-one years old and Serbian, you know, so not a bad option there. Uh, Gonzalez, another Uruguayan, probably him out of the running. Evandro's a good one. He looks like an interesting one. 22 years old Brazilian. Got some good stats on him. Um, lots of 17s everywhere. Um, what's his report? Ah, fairly susceptible. 
potential competitive streak fairly poor intelligence like war like he's got very good attributes but maybe his his report tells me different daniel leandro as well not sure about him um enjoys big matches though lots of reds and i think maybe we go back what's our spain situation looking like just buy on just youth doesn't count victor manuel martinez could be an option here for us i just like his his, his attributes is very good like his uh physicals are very good yeah but he's wanted for 43 million so the player i do want in the end sadly <laughs> is uh gonna be too expensive for us we're going to be for two of those strikers. It's, it's good to bring in a couple strikers. Maybe. I need to look for center mids as well. So I might do some scouting while we're um, like, you know, just do what, do this um, real quick. Center mids, value, and then you just go like, boom. you do that. You scout 175 people that way. You do 19 and you do that. You go, boom. You go like that. And then you go like that. Highest ability, uh, 23. Scout all them like that. You do that just to just get some scouts going. Re, 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 like, redo the scouting. But here we go. Re ready for the game. Um, yeah. Ukraine versus Spain. 4 2 3 1 for Ukraine. Okay. Um, Shopper Valenko, uh, Pivovar, Petrik Rud. Meanwhile, 4 4 2 again for Spain. Iriate's in this time. Bion's there. Um, okay, let's go. Spain in the red, Ukraine in the yellow. Let's see who gets through to the semi-finals. We've had two so far, uh, Netherlands and um, Turkey. Who will be joining them uh, in the semi-finals? Fernandez into the box. Bayern with a big chance early. And it's a good save by the Ukrainian keeper. Anderson on the ball. Okay. He is uh, tackled. But... Opening five minutes, quiet, apart from that big chance. Fernandez into Perez, Iriarte, Iriarte, Para. Para on the ball for Spain. Plays it in, but Smirnov will clear. Iriarte, play it back in. Para, tries to play it in. Comes back out to him. Going to play it in again. Clear it again. <laughs> Iriarte just keeps hold of that. Be nearly a bit of a counter-attack from Ukraine there. But uh, Iriarte to Fernandez. Plays it in. Barreau will clear, though. Moreno will get to it. Iriarte. Para. Para still on the ball. Plays it into Anton. And there's your goal for Spain. 1 0 early on for Spain. They have done looked like the better team in this opening seven minutes. And Ukraine, not, not looking good there. Not looking good. Para, he's been trying to get crosses in constantly. You can see why Anton at the front post puts Spain 1 0 up now. And Ukraine uh, have a lot to do now. Chopper Valenko on the ball. Plays it into Pivovar, into Anderson, into Rudd. And Rudd, just like that. Ten into the danger zone. danger zone. Just goes, right, I'll score myself. Ukraine, obviously, one of the hosts still left in it. They, they want us to go as far as they can. Anderson into Rudd. My goodness, what a turn and strike from the edge of the box there. Top bins. And that's back on level terms, just like that. My goodness, wow. Uh, let's see how the game shakes out now. Who... who we will see sort of same similar as before. Bayern puts it wide. Or was that sort of like a one-off from Ukraine? And it'll be more Spain domination. It seems like at the moment with two more highlights for them. Um, as they've both been cleared so far. But Iriarte is now on the ball again for Spain. Into Para. Para on the wing. It's, 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 it's cheat code. It's a cheat code. Anton has a second. It's a Para assist into an uh, Anton goal. Why are they not marking? This is like Aspilicueta into Morata back in like 2017. My goodness me, Para just just gets a bit of space. Anton just can beat his mar marker again, and that's two one Spain and no immediate response. Well, actually, Petruk, Pivovar, Anderson. Oh, and he puts it wide. I was going to say if that could have been the immediate response again, but uh, maybe Ukraine only play well when they're when they're losing. Um, but Moreno's here. Fernandez, 25 minutes in now. 2-1 Spain as things stand. If things can just stay as the same, that'd be great for my predictions. Uh, Para on the ball into Anton. Anton to Fernandez. Fernandez takes a shot from range. And Sokolov can only turn it around the the, the goal for a uh, corner. Iriata to take. Petrik will clear up to Anderson, but he is not able to win it. Um, Moreno to Anton. Para. 
Anderson, Shopper, Valenko, Faro, Gerasimov. Okay. Highlight over. 10 minutes to go to the half. Spain corner. Oh, and Spain hit the bar. They're trying to go for the third to kill this game. Uh, Anderson free kick right on the edge and right on the edge. It's in. Anderson, 2-2, leveled up again. There we go. Anderson, it's so close to a penalty, but he doesn't need it. He doesn't even need it. It's just like a penalty for him. Top bins. Anderson brings Ukraine level. They've had two shots on target. And they've had two goals. Anderson free kick again over the bar. I was going to say, if we could do it again, that would be something incredible. Um, and there's a one more highlight here before the, the end. 30 seconds to go. Ukraine coming forward with it. Petruk into Pivovar. To Barrow. To Shopovalenko. Back to Barrow. Into Petruk. Anderson. Rud takes a shot. And he uh, puts it wide. They, love, they do love a shot, Ukraine. But half time, 2-2. Two, two. No changes either side. You'd probably say Spain would probably feel a bit hard done by. Uh, Ukraine have had two real chances and they've both gone in. While Spain have definitely created more. But uh, it's, it's a numbers game, you know. It's, it's goals that count at the end of the day. As Iriarte flies through Anderson there. And Anderson, we know, is good at free kicks. And he puts it wide this time around. Okay. Right. Maybe Ukraine will start this off a little bit better. They've only had the two shots on target from 11. They've actually had more shots than Spain. Uh, as Xavi comes on for Jordi Bayern as Spain make the first sub here. Iretta free kick. Goes over the bar. Okay, half an hour to go. Spain make another sub. Angel comes on for Iretta. Grakov comes on for Barrow for Ukraine. Rude with a free kick this time. Goes over the bar. Um, Ivan comes on for Jose Angel Jimenez for Spain as their final substitute goes through. Um, Jorge Escobar comes on for Petruk for Ukraine. Uh, and then Labunski comes on for Majorenko with 10 minutes to go here. Not really many much going on at all in this uh, second half. But Spain do have the ball currently. Para plays it through to Anton on his hat trick. He's not really in the, in the position to score again as Para tries another cross. But his favourite man, Anton, was actually the one that provided him with the pass and wasn't in the box to score the header. Um, Spain with four minutes to go here. Coming forward again. Para into Anton. And Anton puts it wide again. I thought that connection could link up one last time. But no, as we have two minutes to go. Three minutes of added time. And we're going to extra time again. Okay. Extra time is here for the third time for us. Will we actually get to penalties this time? Or will we, we be ruined again and, and made to believe there's penalties and then go, nope, we're, we're just going to finish it in extra time. As Jabby uh, puts it over the bar from the free kick for Spain. Um... Another free kick for Jabby. Hits the wall this time. Para, and it's deflected for a corner kick. Quite luckily, potentially, there. Uh, Para, ball in. And Sokolov with a big save. N the back far post there. It was just sort of creeping in at the back post. But uh, half time and extra time. Nearly here. Escobar free kick. Fernandez saves. Anderson on the rebound. Oh, there wasn't close enough. Shop of Elenko. Shot is blocked. Five over uh, has it, but it, that is end of the highlight here. Half time and extra time. 15 more minutes, and then we're into penalties. Will we make it there? Who knows? Um, Ukraine have actually switched to a 4-4-2. Um, interestingly, they've, missed, they've switched from their 4-2-3-1 for the second half here. Uh, will they be able to create more with this? Spain do have the ball, though, and a highlight here. I Isaac Angel on it, coming forwards for Spain. Plays it forward to Anton. It's cleared initially. Pivovar, Chopper Valenko, goes long with it. Moreno heads it back. It's a terrible one. Anderson has the shot to finish it. It's the ball. It's the line. Oh, it's so close. It should have been a goal for Ukraine. That should have won it for them. But he hits the bar. Escobar on the ball. My goodness me. Oh, it was a huge mistake from the right back of Spain. It was the, pa the patented FM header back to the keeper that was too short. But my goodness me, he hit the bar. Just had the keeper to beat. And Anderson will be kicking himself for that one. Pivovar. Ukraine come forward again, though. Not deterred. Pivovar on the ball to Anderson. Into Grakov. Pivovar. Rud. Rud on the ball. Holds it up. Plays it back to Pivovar. And his shot is saved by Fernandez. Ukraine it kind of been ruined here by not having a good finishing. Five shots on target only from 21 shots. A Sokolov forced into another save. Spain, meanwhile, 29 shots. 12 on target. Over double the shots on target. It's Fernandez heads wide. Very close. Goes straight across the face of goal there. Escobar free kick. Hits the wall um, of Spain there. Four minutes to go. Ukraine again coming forward. Rud into the box with it. Oh, he's, uh, it's tackled, but he's still on it. Rud plays it back to Shopovalenko. Into Anderson on the edge. 
Anderson holds it up into Pivo Var. And Pivo Var scores! We will never be getting penalties in this Euros. Ukraine are 3 2 up now. What a goal and what a time. Anderson holds it up, lays it to Pivo Var, and that's a top bins as well. Spanish keeper can do nothing about it. And Sokolov, the goalkeeper's injured for Ukraine. Shopper Valenko is in goal. Oh my God. And it's, oh, it's full time. The injury, they just said, ah, screw it. We're not going to play with no goalkeeper. Ukraine gets extremely lucky. I wonder what happens to their goalkeeper. But my goodness me, Ukraine go through to the semifinals. 3-2 there. Wow. Okay. And I think that is Nizzy with the only point uh, of that round. My goodness me. <laughs> That was some performance by Ukraine in the second half. Um, an extra time, basically. But there we go. Three of four done. I wonder if they, their goalkeeper is going to be fully injured, though, is the real question. Uh, David Anton also has... So many players have five goals. Um, but anyone that had Spain to win the Euros, they're now out. Um, what am I going to rest my players for? <laughs> None of my players haven't done anything yet. Right. Let us see. Um, next up is Portugal, Belgium, which will be an interesting one. Uh, Faroon off the bock, bottom, or bottom. Uh, yeah, Portugal versus Belgium up next. Who's top goal scorer? There's many top goal scorers at this point. They're all on five goals. There's like five players on five goals currently. Um, let's. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Um, but my goodness, what a what a game! What a game! Oh yeah, we got lots of loans coming in now. Lots of scout reports for any of my centre mids that I want to look at. Balontaki off to Balor again. Hopefully have another good one. Um, European Football Championships. Uh, currently, um, if we go to stats players, um, let's go to goals. We have Sir Nizzi, Alessandro Ripper, David Anton, Ludwig Mausberger, and Kasim Ali Nassim all on five goals. The only player that's still left in the tournament is Kasim. Dennis Rudd is also in the tournament still with on four goals. Uh, and Sahin is on three, along with Chichek for Turkey and Rolfsson there. But Nassim, probably in the best position to go through. Well, that was eventful. It, it was. Next up, final quarterfinal game, Portugal versus Belgium. So let me get your uh, predictions for this one. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Portugal victory here. Final quarter final to go through. So let me know um, your predictions. Okay. I feel like we're going to very quickly today. We're only at an hour and 40 in. We've got four games left. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm going quick. 3-1 Portugal, says John. Okay. Right. Um, let's go. Which one goes. Rare a bit rejected. Five and five. One. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Three, one. Belgium says Chloe. Okay. Um, one nil. Forty. <laughs> forty. Uh, says Wilsonia. Four, one. Portugal says Nizzi. Okay. Right. Uh, Jackson Mariana and Tom um, um, Dimitri have gone. Um, okay. Good. Good, good, good. Let us see. Mm hmm. Here we go. Oh, we got one transfer offer from someone. Thought we make con. Oh, okay. That was a good one. Finlayson. 9.9 9 million for him. Um, oh, yeah. Honor. Yeah, he's not going to get a work permit, is he? Jesus. Right, here we go. Portugal are the favourites here. They were the 4-4-2. Um, Miramar Rocker playing right mid this time. 4-4-1-1 uh, four, one, one for Belgium. Van Kamp, we know him. Borman, Bourgeois, Beal, Tran, Berabé up top. Wouters for a boy. Well, let's get into it. Do you put players on buyback clauses? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I never really do buyback clauses. A lot of time, buyback clauses... Um, make the transfer fee a lot lower and i never really intend to buy them back there is only one time i've done a buyback and that was due to a contract issue i had where basically a player didn't want to um 
to who is contract, but I wanted to keep him. So what I did was I offered him out for zero pounds with a buyback of like seven million. I, I sold him. I bought him back a year later or like six months later for seven million. And then he went on to score a ridiculous amount of goals for me. It was incredible. I, I It worked. I think he got a bit of a wage bump from it, but I'm like, wow, that, that worked really well. <laughs> um, as Bear a Bear. Oh my goodness, offside. Bear a Bear, I was going to say, what a goal by Bear a Bear. I, I, I forget who it was. It might have been Babin. I don't know. I need to check it. But I remember it was a... Oh no, was it Babin? It was... It was it was when I was at, I think, Penny Bond or something. But yeah, I never really do sell on clauses unless like it's a younger player when I'm not really wanting to sell them. Because a lot of the time, trying to add clauses lowers the, the value of what they'll go up to. So I just want the actual money in the bank, you know, because a lot of like buybacks and stuff aren't really worth because I've, I've moved on at that point. If I'm selling them, they normally it, it, there's a reason for the sale, you know. Um, airline. Um, into Verbrugge, Martel to Tran for Belgium. Belgium starting off hot here. Martel back to Willems to Tran into Martel into Verbrugge. Shoots wide. Okay. Right, 20 minutes gone here. Blondel, Martel. Shots on target though. Hard to come by. Uh, Willems. Plays the ball into Berra Bear, and that time it's not offside. Mohamed Berra Bear with a fantastic goal for Belgium. It's, a, it's a, the right winger crossing to the striker. It, it's a cheat code. Look at this. The run from Berra Bear is fantastic. The cross is even better. Uh, and it's an easy finish in the end. He stays on side this time, and Belgium 1 0 up over Portugal here. Um, against, the run of, uh, against the predictions, you would say. Um, but Portugal may look to respond now for Guerdo, Freitas. To Barrow, Aguero, Franco, Correa, into Miramar Rocker, into the box, and he sh ends up shooting wide. Okay, half an hour gone. Uh, corner for Belgium. Will Elms at the front post hits the bar, I think it was. Oh, so close to a Belgium second. The only shot on target this game has been the goal so far. As we approach half time, oh, then there's another one. Two minutes out of time, and half time, and there we go. 1-0 to Belgium. Oh, wait, never mind. There we go. And no changes from either side. Maybe some changes in, in, in personnel positional roles, but uh, no changes to formation or substitutes. We'll have to see if Portugal, who have been pretty poor, uh, do do a bit better this second half. Antonio Lima comes on for Roca uh, as the first substitute of the game, but we're still flying through this. Half an hour got to go here. Belgium make a substitution. So did Portugal. Henry comes on for Martel and... Someone for someone for Portugal. It was gone before I could see it. Um, but 25 minutes ago, Belgium and Portugal make another sub each. Portugal made all three subs. Belgium still have one in the tank. 20 minutes to go here. There's Belgium's last sub too. Barbe comes on for Blondel. Lima hits the uh, first actual highlight of this second half as he hits the wall. Uh, Simos shots blocked again. And Porman's just boots it out for a corner kick. It has not been the best of quality game so far. As Lima plays it in, it's cleared. Freitas, Vidal, okay, Aguero, into Vidal, into Freitas, back to Vidal, to Figueiredo, to Vidal, Figueiredo, Simos, Simos coming forwards, to Branco, Branco on the ball, Franco still on the ball. Carlos. Oh, it's a huge deflection. And it hits the post in the end. So close for Portugal. It was it, the, the deflection took it away from the goalkeeper, but just hit the post. 10 minutes to go here. Still 1-0 Belgium. Bourgeois goes forward with it. Into Willems. Into Walters. Henri. Into Berabé. Sir, Paulo Sergio tackles, though. Barbe will win it back. Tran. Henri. Berabé. Going forwards again and tackled by Paulo Sergio. Van Camp. Tran, Henri, Bernard Wouters, tackled, Wilhelms, Wouters, Henri. Oh, and his shot goes over the bar. Five minutes to go here. It's been a very poor quality game. Belgium still haven't had a shot on targets in, in this half. They had two in the first half, one being the goal, and they haven't had one since. Portugal only had two shots on target themselves, but Branco's here in the box, gets a corner, one minute to go, plus added time. Three minutes of added time. So four total for Portugal to find an equaliser here. Simos with a shot. It's blocked. Lima tries to play it in. Blocked again. Simos again. 
shoots way wide. Poor shot in the end of the day. Uh, and Belgium are going to get away with it. 1-0 to Belgium. Honestly, the worst game of this tournament so far. That was a shocking game. Um, so close, Wilsonia. So close. But in the end, it was a victory for Belgium. So Chloe with only one with a point after that. So that's all the quarterfinals done. Let's have a look at the scores uh, after the quarterfinals. So still me and Wilsonia at 17 points at the top. Chloe in second on 14. Uh, only three points back. John uh, with 13 in third. Nizzy with nine in four. And then Jambo and Squid uh, with seven each. So um, there we go. We have now on to the semi-finals as Belgium with the upset there, you'd say. Um, right, let's leave match um, and start looking at um, 11 shots from both sides in total, two on target. What a terrible game that was. My God. Um, right, let's have a look at the semi finals then. So we've got Netherlands versus Turkey and we have Ukraine versus Belgium. Okay, interesting. Uh, Finlayson wants a new contract. I'm going to reject that for now. Yay, and he sacked his manager. you love to see it. I'm also going to put team um, on very high. We're about to start the preseason. Um, well, maybe I'll put the Wilder in. Let's see. Right. Uh, Mike Zekoff on the Zuleika. Okay. Right. What is going on in... Oh, Christ. It's 87th minute. Still 1-0 Arsenal. Bloody hell. It's still 2-1 Barca. Let me see what's going on on Twitter. Um... Oh wow, Saarbrücken have, have just beaten fucking Mitch and Glad back. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Huh. My goodness me, hold on. What is going on? Right. 3 1. 3 1 to what, Duck God? I haven't even said what's coming up next. Centre <laughs> uh, mids. More scout, centre mid scouting. Right. Next up is Netherlands, Turkey, by the way. Barca. Ah, okay, okay. I get you now. I get you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was 3 1. Lewandowski's just scored. There you go. So Barca into the uh, forces. Interesting. 3 1 Netherlands. <laughs> Netherlands versus Turkey. Guy's on it. She's on it. Right. Netherlands. Um, versus Turkey. Chloe says 3-1. I am going to go... Ooh, what am I going to go for? 3-1 was good. That was a good prediction. Uh, I'm going to go 2-0, I think. Let me hear your predictions. 2-1 Netherlands, says Wilsonia. Everyone's on the Netherlands train now. Um, as I continue, let me see how things go. Rich set to sign. Old team. Oh, yeah, it's team meeting now. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put De Wilder in everything. Tactics. Right. 3 0 Netherlands. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the right one. De Wilder. Okay, good stuff. Um, right. What are we doing? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, John goes for 3 0 Netherlands. Uh, Nizzy, what are you saying? For Netherlands Turkey. The first of our semi finals today. Um, right. Rare alone back length. Um, last negotiation. Yeah, yeah. Five nil to the Dutch. Ooh, okay, five nil. There you go. Right. What? I've accepted the offer from Valois. What? Is this a transfer? 11.25 million. They won't oh, They won't accept anything less. Is it just... Is that his like, release clause? Oh, you just got a release clause at 11 point. You know, I think we could do that. I think we could do that. He looks very good. And he's Serbian, you know? I think that's a good op option. 
We had five. We earned five nil on our first game. Again, I know it's again. It's not very good people. He's only on twelve point five k a week. Wow. Okay, that's extremely good. That's like ridiculous. He, he, he wants to be a hot prospect. Um, about rotation, I guess. Well, fuck it out. All right then, Momich. How many goals did he have last year? He had, he had fifteen goals in the Prem. To be fair, to be fair, they're making a good bit of money from him. I only got him for two point five million. Oh, will he choose us, though, is the question. Okay. My back's been actually quite warm, which is nice. So it's not hurting too much today. You saw on, on the Saturday stream how, how much I was, like, uh, imaging in, you know, hurting. But, okay. Right. Let's see. Uh, 91 messages. Langford goes to Barry in the end. Full ring. Oh, you are good. Full ring. But they want a lot of money for him. He's going to be playing non-league again. Okay, we'll just keep... Just continue through. I have Antos. Right, here we go. Netherlands versus... No, nope, that's the wrong page. Uh, Netherlands versus Turkey. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. World Cup qualifying Asia. Final stages. Um, some intro... Oh, some, some very interesting... Hold on. Some very interesting Asian qualifying stages here. Bahrain, Iran, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Syria. I guess you'd say those three go through. Australia, Kuwait, Lebanon, North Korea, Oman, Thailand. You'd probably say those three, but you'd love for one of these three to go through. Um, especially like Thailand or something. Thailand and Bahrain would be the ones I'd love to see go through. But here we go. Uh, into the game. 4-2-3-1 again for Netherlands instead. Nassim plays right wing while Sudassi is playing attacking midfield. Um, Turkey with their weird formation with their 5-3-2. Yildrim uh, up top there. So let's go. Turkey in the white. Netherlands in the orange. Will uh, Turkey be able to sort of stop the barrage of this dominant uh, Dutch force coming forwards? Uh, we'll have to see. I do want to look at the Dutch national team, by the way, because some of the names in it, I'm like, there must be some really interesting second nationalities. Did Barry break their record signing? They, they, they did at some point. I think it was last season they had. Um, they've already done it a few times, but I think they did recently. Um, well, actually, they did. They do it on on Yildrim, <laughs> I think. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check. Um, but yes, but seeing as my record signing with them was like 13.5 million, I think it was very easy for them to break their record. As Yildrim puts uh, Turkey 1-0 up and ruins my prediction straight away. Uh, and that was not in the script. Yildrim puts Turkey 1-0 up very early on in the semi final. It's a great ball through by uh, Gokul Glan. Uh, and Yildrim has an easy finish. And that is 1-0 Turkey. Uh, Dutch have not even had a shot yet. So they're feeling a bit like, oh, okay. Uh, as they lose the ball there again. Are we going to have a kickoff highlight of a second goal maybe? Good question, John. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a look at Barry's transfer window after this, this game. But they definitely have, yes. I think it might be on Yildrim, hilariously. Because they got him for 55 million from us. Is it 55? I think it was 55. Um, right. Let's let's see. we got we got a semi-final to play, though. Uh, Gokhan Ok. Zafa Kulu. Sebastian Gul over to Sengun. Gokuk Glan. Eisden wins it. Back to Decker. Sudasi. To Dukok. To Vaka. Vaka coming forwards again. Plays the ball into Kovermans, but it's cleared. Decker to Dukok. To Sudasi. And he shoots way wide. I was wondering how the AI would do things. Yeah, the, well, the AI was so weird with it because basically, obviously, they have an issue with having like 300 players. So they just sold everyone. But the problem was they were selling like really good youngsters. Like we had a bunch of good, like three really good youngsters. They sold them all for like cut price deals. And then for loads of them, they'd buy them back for like, like they, they'd sell a player for like, like 15 million. And then two years later, buy him back for like 35 million because they were like, oh, yeah, well, he's good. And I was like, well, yeah, that's why I signed him in the first place. He's going to be good. He's just not good now. So uh, they, I think they're, they're a bit more under control now, of course, because they've got a normal size squad. Um, but at the start, they were just selling players for cheap for everywhere, you know. So it was a bit of a weird one. But yeah, they are starting to. Um, we, we've only got like three or four players. Lol. Back at the cock. Painful. <laughs> um. I think they've only got like three or four players left that were players that I managed. 
They sign players based on reputation. Probably. Probably. Um, Eisden. B. Over to Svart. To Vaka. Lupe loses the ball. Sebastian Gull. Gokan Ock. Yildrim. Husuman. Oh, it's a terrible mistake. And it's a good block, actually. But Turkey definitely on the on the, on the the uh, up here, um, it seems. Netherlands have a bit more possession. But no real chances. Maybe this 5-3-2 is sort of stemming the, the Dutch attack at the moment. And Yildrim comes forward again. Sengun got the ball cleared. Kudu just puts it wide there. Okay, right. Half an hour gone. Dudasi over to Nassim. Nassim on the ball. Plays it in. It's cleared. Decker. Over to De Kock. Kovermans. Kovermans beats his man. Oh, it's a great save. It's a great save from Tannery. It's a huge chance for Netherlands to get back level in this game. Um, but with five to go, still 1-0 Turkey in the first half at least. Not in the game. Uh, Yildrim. Tackled by Bozkurt. Kovermans going to come forward again. Missed that big chance. He's trying to make up for it and trying a bit too hard there, potentially. Gokhan Ok with a free kick over the bar. Okay. Half-time approaching. Will Netherlands switch to their 4-3-3 they like to do? Yes, they do. Will this have any a bit, a bit more of a more success, potentially, against this Dutch this this Turkish back five uh, that they've got? We will see. There was an immediate chance there for Nassim, but... Uh, didn't end up going through. Uh, Zvart wins it to Vaka. Through to Kovermans and Kovermans is in. And he's just put it wide again. Another big chance by missed by Kovermans. He was the one that they depended on uh, in the Euros and the World Cups that they've won recently. But he's on a 5.9 today. He's really not having a good one. And will the manager have the balls to take him off when he's not having a good game? Or does he trust him that he's Kovermans? He's the captain for a reason. Will he pull through? Decker plays it in to Nassim on the edge. Nassim gets a shot. Tanneri saves again. Vaka. And he's cleared. Okay. Netherlands definitely pushing forward now. Decker on the ball again. Plays it in. It's cleared to De Kock. He's tackled. And Sengen will clear it. And oh, it's a big mistake. Oh, and oh, Christ alive. De Kock comes off for Nguyenhuis. Decker throw into Sudasi to Nassim. Nassim going to try and put the ball into Vaka. And it's cleared. Fleisman will get it on the left for the Netherlands. Going to try and play it back in. Nguyenhuis into Sudasi. Into Kovermans. Into Nassim. And Nassim with a big chance missed. Apparently that wasn't a clear-cut chance. But it probably should have been. Ganzo's on for Sudasi now. Netherlands just can't find the back of the net today. They're getting loads of chances. But just not, not able to put it in the back of the net. Some poor finishing. Um, Huisman up to Kovermans. Kovermans to Nassim. Into Vaka. And how has he saved that? It was pretty much an open goal. A huge chance again for the Netherlands. The strikers, the three strikers, they just, they can't hit a barn door. They can't hit a barn door at the moment between the three of them. Kovermans, they come forward again. Vaca into Nuenhus. Ganzo. Vaca. Vaca again into back to Ganzo. Ganzo going to try and put a ball in. He does. Nassim heads wide. Turkey making substitution. Oliviera comes on for Vaca. Maybe a, a fourth striker might help out. Oliviera now on the ball. Uh, holds up to it. Kovermans to Nassim, who hits the bar, but he's offside. Unver comes on for Sengen. Nine minutes to go here for Netherlands to try and find an equalizer. Ganzo, Decker. Decker holds it up to Nassim. Nassim saved by Tanner Reese. Another clear cut chance. Nuenhus plays it in. It's clear at the front post. And uh, Goko Glan actually keeps it in. Could there be a Turkey counter attack here? Arakan, Yildrim. Oh, B with a big save. They Turkey have eight minutes to save their tournament here. And the ball into the box is cleared again. Decker, Ganzo will try and get there. Z Zafakuru, another day. I think Netherlands would have been up 4 or 5 1 by this point, but their striker's just not able to finish today. Okay, five minutes, four minutes to go. Free kick. Ganzo plays it in. It's cleared. It's Ganzo again. And Tana Reese with another save. My goodness me. Nuenhus plays it in. It's cleared for another corner. They've got pretty much everyone in the box. Ganzo plays it in. And Tanner Reese claims again. Three minutes plus added time. Three minutes of added time. Will they find a high a, a chance? Uh, Turkey actually have the ball now. Zafakuru into Savas to Bilic. Bilic on the ball. Plays it in. B will get it. And they'll try one last time to throw it forwards. No, actually, they won't. No highlight. There's less than 40 seconds to go here. Chichek, Turkey actually have the ball and trying to hold on to it. Arakan 
to Unver. Ta oh, doesn't isn't tackled by Dems. He goes to the corner. Unver plays it in. Yildrim heads over, and I think this is going to be Turkey in the final. The fourth minute chance from Yildrim is enough, and a huge upset there. My goodness me! So that means the last two Euros winners are out. Yes, Portugal and um, Netherlands are out. My goodness me! Let's go look at that spreadsheet. Um, what am I doing? Where am I going? 1-0 to the Tur Turkish. And no one gets a point for that. I don't think any of us expected Turkey to come away with the points there. Um, right, let's go have a look then. We're also looking at Barry. Um, but a big, big upset there. And all, f all five of the top five goal scorers aren't anywhere. Uh, are all out now, um, interestingly. Um, yeah, let's look at past winners. Um, yep. Turkey, Portugal out. Netherlands out. England out. Turkey did make the final again in 23-20 versus Portugal, but lost it. They also made the final in 22-96 and lost it. Um, they also made the final in 22-68 and lost it. They also um, made the final in 22-16 and lost it. Um, they also made the final in... 2100 and won it. Their, their last win was 2100. It's been 228 years. Turkey God of Gobble for the win. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see if they can finally get a second Euros win. We'll have to see who they face, though, in the final. Will it be Ukraine or will it be Belgium uh, in the other one? Okay. Pereira. We're going to talk to Sandra Pereira. I'd love you, mate. No! No, Sandro Pereira, why would you do this to me? Fuck's sake. Well, I'll be back later for you, mate. At the end of the end of the transfer window, maybe. Okay, right then. Ukraine versus Belgium. Let's get predictions going for this one. Ukraine versus Belgium. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for a 2-1 Ukraine victory. I reckon we're gonna see Ukraine Turkey final. That'd be a cool one, wouldn't it? Which is probably why Belgium will win, you know. Um, okay, Arsenal into extra time now. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, good stuff. Right, 2-1 Belgium, says Chloe. Okay. 2-2 two, two, Ukraine on pens, says Nizzy. Okay. Finally, we'll see penalties. <laughs> okay. Right. Go find the Wilder every time. Um, there it is. 2-0 Belgium, says Jambo. 1-1 um, one, one Belgium pen, says Wilsonia. Okay, okay. Um, who else looking for? John goes 2-1 Belgium. Do pens actually ever happen in predictions? What do you mean? We had, um, last time. Was it last time? Uh, it, was, it was last World Cup. Duck God got the exact correct score and penalty win so yes that it is it has happened um just the one time <laughs> but it was incredible it wasn't it was a nil nil as well a nil nil followed by the correct prediction winner uh which is some incredible incredible predicting timo Vern a bid from port talbot they're looking to sign him no thank you uh millington off to penny bond that should be a hundred pointer <laughs> um can we get another win. Nice. Poor lack fitness concerns. Let's uh, rest the boys. We should actually start resting them, to be fair. Yeah, just rest everybody up here. Right. Ukraine versus Belgium. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, the free rename a regen. Oh, free rename a regen. <laughs> 
Well, theoretically, I don't know. It shouldn't, like, realistically, it's just like predicting a, a normal game. It's just, you you just decide that they're both going to draw, you know? I guess it's a little bit harder because you need them to be drawing after 120 minutes, you know? But I don't know. Right. Well, everyone else is, they could kind of get it after 90. Mm, I don't know. Right. Game day, though. Here we go. Who will be facing Turkey in the 23-28 finals? Ukraine, our host, remember. Maybe they could do it. Let's see. Belgium, our favorite. It's the 4-2-3-1 again for Ukraine. It's the 4-4-1-1 for Belgium. Yellow for Ukraine. Red for Belgium. Let's see who will make the final here. Will Ukraine be able to do it as hosts? I would love for them to do it as hosts, to be honest. Um, but we will see. Is this the final? No, this is the, this is the semi-final. The semi-finalist will face Turkey in the final, who just knocked out the holders. Netherlands as Rud. Free kick, it's the bar! Oh, so close for the rebound as well. Big chance for Ukraine. Pivo Var. Oh, Bourgeois hits it over again. Ukraine starting on top here, but no goal as of yet. Pivo Var plays it in and Bourgeois saves uh, or claims it there. My goodness, that was a very close free kick. Okay. 15 minutes gone, 20 minutes gone here. Lots of Ukraine possession. 70% nearly. 65%. Shop of Valenko free kick. They're just putting everybody on, on, on free kicks at this point. Uh, half an hour gone. Not really many chances here. Belgium now with their first chance of the game. Uh, Boromans into Beal, into Henri, into Wouters and Pavlov with a big save there. Of course, Sokolov did get injured in the last game. So the backup keeper is playing for Ukraine today. Um, which is, pa is it Pavlov? Um, it is Pavlov. Okay. Um, Shapovalenko on the ball. Plays it into Anderson, into Pivovar. Plays it to Anderson and it's a big miss. A big chance for Ukraine. I could probably make an account that could... Luckily, there was a type and I saw it before I pressed submit. Sorry, called that. I didn't see that one. What? What's going on? I, mean, I didn't see the duck gob one. Um, Rod. Oh, and there you go. There's Ukraine's goal. 1-0 up. Just before half time. A lovely cross. And Rud yet again. Another goal. I think he's on five now, actually, maybe. Shopovalenko does incredibly well there, actually, to get the cross off. And Rud with a fantastic save. Bourgeois probably should do better. But Ukraine go 1 0 up in the semi final here with a few minutes to go uh, to the um, half time. However, Belgium have a free kick themselves. It's off to Boromans, who puts it over the bar. Okay, very even, actually, on shots. Um, possession wise, Ukraine have definitely more possession. But shots wise, pretty even. Uh, Petruk, we still got a highlight here. Ilishin. Five over, Petruk, Anderson tries to play it forward. Blondel with intercept. Half 30 seconds to go here. Beal comes forwards for Belgium. Henri, Babruja. Babruja coming forwards and Pavlov saves. Okay. Right, second half. Will we see changes? We do. Belgium make two subs and switch to a 4 3 3. Will this help them? Uh, can Ukraine hold on? We'll have to see. Anderson comes forwards initially. Anderson still coming forwards. Tackled, but Petrick's there. Pivovar from range and puts it way wide. But will we see Belgium growing into this game now? They do have a highlight straight away. First minute of the second half. And they've got uh, a highlight. Boromans, Tran goes forwards. And Will Elms is in. And all the centre-backs out of position. And Ilishin, a huge, a huge clearance. Because I think number 10 there for Belgium. Who is that? Um... Le something. Le Luce was completely open at the back post if it wasn't for that clearance. My goodness me. Pivovar into Petruk. Into Rudd. Oh, it's a big chance. Oh, he gets the, the second bite of the cherry. And Dennis Rudd has now put Ukraine 2-0 up. Into the danger zone. In the danger zone. I think that's my, that could be six goals for him. He might have been, now be the top goal scorer. And Ukraine, look at the first chance. Probably should have gone in. But no one's even doing anything for the Belgian defence. They're all focused on attack. Rud gets the second ch chance and puts it away that time. 2-0 Ukraine as Berabere puts his free kick over the bar. Okay, half an hour to go. Seegers comes on for Berabere. All three subs done for Belgium. 20 minutes to go. Gerasimov, Baru into Shopovalenko. He's tackled. Tran will clear. Willems, loose. Loose on the ball. Going forwards for Belgium. There's still 20 minutes to go. They're only 2-0 up. It's a dangerous scoreline to be, you know. Uh, Ukraine can't can't think they're in the clear just yet. Uh, Verjans on the ball. Plays it in. Barrow will clear. Tran from range puts it wide. Okay. 
Barbe injured for Belgium. That's huge for Ukraine. 10 men. Is it going to be 10 men OP? Oh my goodness, the keeper was nowhere. Somehow it was blocked and cleared by Ukraine. But there was definitely an open goal at one point. If any of the Belgians even got a foot to it, they would have been in. I think oh, Belgium, Belgium are playing a 4-3-2. And oh my goodness, loose. What a save from Pavlov. What an incredible save. My goodness me. Escobar comes on Pavivar. And last few minutes here, Ukraine will be going to the final unless Belgium scored two goals in one minute, which would be, I guess, has happened before. But I, I can't see it happening as they get a last corner here. 20 seconds to go. It's cleared uh, by Ilish Chin, who is actually probably my man of the match, I'd say, along with Pavlov. Uh, well, actually, no, it's rude. It's definitely rude. But there we go. Ukraine as hosts are going to be in the final facing Turkey with a backup goalkeeper. My goodness me, a 2-0 victory. I was very close with my 2-1. Um, right, and some nil poise elsewhere. My goodness me, let's go look at the scores right before the end here. Currently, I am top, 18 points. Wilsonia, second, 17, 100% record in the final they have. Um, do they? Ukraine, yes they do, don't they? Three of three. Is that World Cup or Euros? That's true. Uh, 14 in third place for Chloe currently. John on 13, though. Nizzy also with 10. Can anyone get an extra three? Did no one say Turkey or Ukraine? No, no one said Turkey or Ukraine. So really, the fight is for second, first and second and third, uh, it seems. So podium position fighting. We'll have to see going into the final. Um, but let's see who faces who first. Um... But yeah, wasn't it? There was, I think Ukraine have, have won three out of three finals in the Euros they've been in. So we'll have to see how um, that goes. My goodness me. Right. Um, what, a, what a game. Let me, let's go look at Ukraine real quick. They are the hosts along with Poland. That would be a big, this would be a big win for them. Let's go past, past winners. Competitions. They're ranked 46th in the world currently. Um, Euros. Yep, they've won all three. Their last win was a 2300. So only 28 years ago. Turkey, meanwhile, only won once. So very interesting. Honestly, I, I would. I, if you said at the start of the knockouts, you get a Ukraine Turkey final, I'd take that. It's not the big boys, you know, it's kind of the second tier of, of, of boys. Um, so there we go. Ukraine uh, in the final there. Let's see. It's on the 15th. We're going to have to unfortunately cancel our Paysandu um, friendly in brazil sorry lads i gotta go watch ukraine turkey lads okay <laughs> um so let us see right schedule uh sorry paysandu cancel that friendly and let's go to european football championship um and it is turkey as the first team okay right um let's get prediction so John goes for 2-0 uh, Ukraine. Okay. 2-0 um, Ukraine. That's me. <laughs> That's not John. That's me. 2-0 uh, Ukraine. Don't know why that one's short for some reason. Let's... There we go. Um, right. Let's get the other predictions, though, in. As I continue through. Um, it's messages. Send to me. It's to Scout. Going on, friendly cancelled. Okay, cool. Two one Turkey says Chloe. Okay, Turkey gonna come spoil the party, maybe. Five nil Turkey says Duck God. Oh my God, can you imagine? Fuck it, five three Ukraine, banger of a final. We can only hope so much, Nizzy. We can only hope so much. My goodness me. Right. Um, let's see. Idol, Niederhauser. Oh, we're going to sign Goran Momic. Nice. We're actually signing a, a striker there. Quite a bit of money, actually. 11 million. But you hope he's going to be worth it. Okay, Goran Momic. He trains a complete forward lad. Um, no. Training is a striker. Complete forward. Who won Euro 2024 for you? Um, watch time. One month, one day, two hours. Oh, so close. Euro 2024. Christ. Um, I 
It was Netherlands over England in the final. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> it was hosted by Spain, though. So 2020 didn't have a host, weirdly. Oh, is that the one because it's all around? But yeah, 2-0 um, Ukraine. Okay. So because I want to make things fun, I don't want to put the exact same scoreline as, as well, Sony, because I'm like, if we both get the correct, like, so I'm going to go for a, I'm going to go for, going to go for a 1-0 Turkey victory, I think. So it's sort of like whoever wins, wins it, you know, rather than me picking the same team as Wilsonia. And then I'm like, oh, unless one of us gets perfect, then I win. You know, you gotta, got to make it a bit more interesting. Right. Let's go. Uh, we got friendly. Um, tactics. Wrong one. Did I put the wrong one? What do you mean? Wrong one. Oh, yes. I did do the wrong one, didn't I? I put myself 1-0 and I put Wilsonia 2-0 do, do Ukraine. There we go. That's I've, I've fixed that now. I've fixed that. There we go. I've, I've put myself 1-0 Turkey. Wilsonia, 2-0 Ukraine. There you go. <laughs> put that completely the wrong way around. Right. Um, the Wilder, you're going to be playing every game in front in preseason to try and um, sort this out. But look, this is what we're doing at the moment. 2-5-3. This is the tactic we're running with currently. Um, at the moment, it's 4-3-3. Our 4-3-3 just changed to be... Uh, the fullbacks are now wingers, and it's working uh, amazingly. Right, let's rest everybody up here. I can't rest them at the moment. Right, well, a few days rest. Remember I said player was transfer listed by accident? Yes, I do. I do. What happened to him? Is it Was he still transfer listed? Right. Here we go. Manuel Bedin is a Solano. Okay. Right. Here we go. Um, Finlayson. We're looking for Momic going to be unveiled. Lovely stuff, Momic. Manuel Bedin. There you go. Two goals. For Solano. 15th of July. Well, I thought when turn pro he'd be able to come off transfer list, but he never agreed a deal. Hmm. So he's still a youth player? <laughs> That's a bit of an odd one. Right. Um, college. Oh, College is moving on again from Lido. Okay. Anything of interest? Timo Werner's progress and Guzman's progress. Nice. We've got no offers, obviously. So we'll be a youth player for the next two seasons. Jeez, I guess that's good for the wages, maybe. But <laughs> that's very odd, man. Very odd what bug you found. Right, here we go. Turkey versus Ukraine. Um, Euro final. 23-28. Let's go. Turkey are the favourites going in. So it is a 4-1-2-3 or 4-3-3 for Turkey. Uh, Yildirim dropped from the squad? Wow. Okay. The player that got them to the semi-final. No, no, no. He's there. He's there. I, I, I missed him. 4-2-3-1 uh, for uh, Ukraine. Same as usual. Everything going on there. We're going to go to TV uh, for the final here, and then we'll slow it down a bit. Um, right. Let's go for the final. Yellow for Ukraine. Red for Turkey. Who will win uh, this final? Here we go. So, it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's see how things go. But yeah, Yildirim even dropped the bench, though, for the for the, for the the final. Can't offer him as he transfers and not interested. Ah, that's not good. Okay, highlight here. Gokhan Cicek plays it forwards. And, oh, Felipe Anderson has missed it for Ukraine. And it's a good block there. Um, Dobrovsky will clear it only as far as um, Gokhan Ok who gets it back to Tazdemir but look Genk from the edge and it's just wide Papal save we're not on 22 I'd use editor to fix it don't want to stop me getting steam ladder yeah makes sense makes sense okay Dobrovsky Barrow Ukraine come forward now Anderson into Escobar Anderson into Rudd he 
Oh, it's a penalty. Gokan Chichek fouls Rud for the penalty. And I think, who is this running up to take it? It's Grakov. Grakov for Ukraine to put them 1-0 up in front of his own fans. His countrymen in this final here. Can, will he hold his nerve? Will he hold his nerve? Let's go. And he scores. The keeper went the right way. But it's too powerful for him. My goodness me. 1-0 Ukraine early. Very, very early in this final. A huge, huge goal here. Grakov, he, 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 the keeper goes the right way, but it's just too powerful. Tanaris just can't get there. Right. Kickoff highlight, though, potentially here. Uh, has Gokhan Ox got it? Savas. Gokhan Shishek. Setting Kaya. Over to Bilic. Bilic into Sahin. Into Gokoglan. Gokhan Ok. Genk. He's tackled by Jarasimov, who will maybe try and counter potentially here. Uh, Jobrovlovsky coming down the left wing now. Got a bit of space to run into. Still got, he got held up now, but plays it to Anderson, who's got a lot of time, but now he's a bit more, can, a bit more uh, closed down, and it's cleared. Oh, it's a big miss by Myronenko, and Goka Glan is in. Oh, it's a great recovery by Myronenko. Uh, a huge miss header, but he's actually got back to, to stop uh, the strike and play out for a corner. My goodness me. Uh, the corner is cleared uh, only as far as Bullet Genk plays it back to Gokhan Ok. Ok on back to Bullet Genk. And it's tackled by Anderson. Cleared. Very well done uh, from him there to get in without fouling him. Um, and it will go all the way back into the Turkish half in, with Bilic here uh, and highlight over. Free kick, though, for Turkey here. But Gokhan Ok. Oh, over the bar. Okay. Gokhan Ok again. Over the bar again. Okay. 20 minutes to go gone here. 1-0 Ukraine from that early penalty. Half an hour gone. Quiet. Barrow injured. Big injury for Ukraine as Pivovar will come on for him. Who, to be fair, would probably feel quite hard done by to be dropped for the, for the final. But he's on now. Labunski on the ball. Into Escobar. To Grakov. Labunski. Pivovar. Escobar. Up to Anderson. Oh, and he's tackled there half halfway line by Savas. Tastamir now comes forward for Turkey. Uh, Sahin on the ball. Back to Savas. Over to Gokhan Ok. Up to Bullet Genk. Genk beats his man and way wide with his strike. My goodness. Okay. Half time approaching now. Five minutes of the half. Throw in for Ukraine. Jarasimov. Into Grakov. Into Pivovar. Into Rud. Rud on the ball. Into Anderson. Over to Pivovar. Over to Escobar. Going forward now. They don't have much support, but he's got three players on him. Plays it back to Labunski. Uh, uh, right back. Plays it back to Escobar. He's a bit more open now. Into Anderson. Anderson holds it up into Pivovar. Plays it over to Grakov, the goal scorer from the penalty spot. Who's holding it up into Pivovar. Very slow at the moment from Ukraine. Trying to, trying to find their, their moment. Escobar into Anderson. Into Rud. Turns. Shoots. It's 2 0 Ukraine. Rud. He just can't stop scoring for them. Is that his seventh? He does a roly poly in the jump up. You love to see it. 2 0 Ukraine here. Escobar plays it into that. It was such, so slow and then just gets the Rud. He loves, he loves getting it on the edge of the box. Turns. Shoots. Goal. Easy. 2 0 Ukraine. Just before the half here, uh, there is another throw in here for Ukraine late on. Lubunsky, Anderson, Lubunsky plays it into Pivovar. He's tackled. Oh, there could be a counter-attack here. He's calling for the foul, but none given. Um, and it's intercepted, but it's Turkey have got it back here. Oh, no, Ukraine have got it back. Anderson, Escobar, back to Anderson. Over to Lubunsky, who's made the run down the right. Going to try and play a ball in. He plays it back to Escobar. Who plays it to Pivovar, who takes a bit of a big touch, but it falls to Grakov, who goes for a audacious attempt from 30 yards. It just goes wide. And there we go. Half time. Uh, Turkey do not make a change, but they do make a substitution as Gokalf comes on. Uh, Ukraine do go more defensive. They get a defensive midfielder instead of their attacking midfielder. Interesting. I wonder. Anderson has moved to DM, which is very odd because I felt like he was an attacking midfielder, but okay. Sure. Uh, we'll see how this plays out in the second half. Obviously, they're trying to defend their lead now, but maybe it was better just to keep attacking, you know? Um, but here we go. Pavlov, of course, their backup goalkeeper in goal uh, for this final as well. Hasn't had to do too much so far. Um, Pivovar into Rudd. Rudd on the ball still. 
over to Jurasimov. Plays it in. It's cleared. Um, but Myronenko. Myronenko. Yeah, Myronenko will get there. Play it over to Felipe Anderson. Over to Grakov. Pivovar. Pivovar beats his man and he lays it off to Rudd. He's a long way out. He holds it up and lays it off to Grakov. Uh, Dobryovsky. Now on the ball. Still on the ball. Plays it into Rudd. Was he offside? It's still oh, Pivovar. Oh my goodness me! I don't know what happened there. How how Rudd wasn't offside is, is beyond me. But it didn't end up amounting to too much. A bit of a bit of a scary moment for Turkey. But uh, here we go. Turkey with a throw and still two nil. Most dangerous scoreline, especially when we are in danger zone here. Next goal could very very well set the tone and the momentum for the rest of this game. Escobar with a great tackle there wins the ball. Going to try and counter attack now. Rudd is on it. Um, <clears throat> Plays a great crossfield ball to, to Dubrovsky. He's got to the left and he just goes for it himself. He had so many options available. This Arsenal game smells of another Euros pen loss. Another Portugal team. We can only hope. Um, <laughs> Turkey make two substitutions. Two more. They've made all of their subs now. Uh, and they've got the corner. Cleared by Escobar. Savas will get there at the edge though. Uh, Bilic into Gokalp. The first sub. And he puts it way wide. What are the stats looking like so far? Oh my goodness, Turkey have had one shot on target from 14. Labunski into Rudd. Rudd plays it into the back post. Dubrovsky's there, it's cleared. Um, and Gokhan Ok will come away with it. Gokhan Ok still coming into Savas. Hold, held up a little bit by the Ukrainian midfielder, Sahin. Into Gokhan for now. Coming into the middle, goes for the shot. Still off, and then... Uh, Chabrovalenko, who also probably could have felt hard done by not starting this game, is now on for Ukraine. Last 10 minutes here. Turkey need a goal and they need it quick. They've had one shot on target from 15. That's probably a reason why they're now 2-0 down. Ukraine, meanwhile, two shots on target, two goals from six. My goodness me. Yeah, bring back Darius Fassel. <laughs> okay, right. Akerison. Here comes Turkey. Goka Glan. Gokan Ok. Oh, and there's a goal for Turkey. They finally made the breakthrough. It's 2-1 Ukraine now. And we are now in for a very interesting last 10. Goka Glan plays it through to Ok. And they finally hit the target today for the second time. It took a, until the 80th minute, but it's 2-1 now. Extreme danger zone for Ukraine. Troshin comes on for Escobar. They make the change in response. They've, they've changed their way they're playing. Let's see how Turkey and Ukraine react for this last 10 minutes here. Still playing the defensive midfielder. We've got eight minutes to go. Can Ukraine hold on or will Turkey try and send this game to extra time? Hello, Timp. Hello. What is up? We're in the final of the Euros. And Ukraine are currently 2-1 up versus Turkey. Turkey have just scored, though, to make it 2-1. And we've got five minutes to go. And they've got the ball again here. Savas on it. Back to Tanaris. And, of course, this is the Ukraine-Poland hosted Euro. So, Ukraine, I think, are shitting themselves a bit now. As Gokhan Ok plays it forwards. Okay. Oh, oh, goes too far. But Pavlov just kicks it straight back to Turkey. What's he doing there? Plays it forward. It's clear. Uh, Ukraine are panicking. They're just booting it forward every single time they get the ball. Uh, and they're giving Turkey more chances now. Uh, Gok Gokhan now on the ball on the left. Going to try and put a ball in. Myrenko takes it out of his goalkeeper's hands there and has to clear it himself. Clears it straight back to Turkey. No rest for Ukraine. Uh, Savas into Gokhan Ok. Tackled by Povovar. Out for a throw-in for Turkey. Good. I think he was taking the shot there, but here we go. Throw-in. Fikret Bilic into Savas. Into Gok uh, Galan. Oh, he's, he's still at the ball. Gokalp. The back post. Oh, and it's 2-2. What was the Ukraine? What is Lubinsky doing? They've thrown it away in the last 10. Oh, my goodness me. What was Lubinsky doing? He heads it. It's, it's like a perfect assist. Gokhalp heads it. Lubinsky heads it just straight to Gokhan Ok. Oh, my goodness me. And Ok's got a second. Turkey have got a second. It's a, it's a corner. For Ukraine. In the 90th. It's in the box. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's a great save for Itana Reese. It's an incredible save. And Turkey have the ball again. They're coming forwards. Sahin. Sengun. Gul. Turkey surely have the momentum now. Savas. Gokhan Ok. Into Sahin. 
back to Savas. They've got two minutes left here before we go to extra time. Can they find a winner to win in the most fucking crazy of ways? Sahin up to Goka Glan takes the shot and Pavlov saves there. My goodness me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pavlov goes long with it. Just straight back to Turkey, though. He just keeps wanting to give them the ball. Savas. Okay, Gokat was somehow offside from there. Um, one minute to go. Pavlov's take. That was a pity pass back. <laughs> Lubunsky. Into Pivovar. Into Anderson. Into uh, Shapovalenko. Over to Gerasimov. They, they, Ukraine could have one last chance here to win it, but it seems like they they just they a bit shell shocked really. What a pitiful attempt at a shot. <laughs> Jurasimov over to oh, it's cleared. Out okay, out for another throw in. Fifteen seconds to go before we hit extra time here. Jurasimov, uh, Shapovalenko into Jurasimov over to Pivovar back to Shapovalenko. Oh, he fell over. He just fell over. And that will be full time. Into extra time we go. Ukraine throwing it away in the last 10. Turkey. Now, Ukraine now to reset and go again. Turkey going to be riding this wave of momentum. Can they win it in extra time? Will we see penalties ever? We've had three extra times so far that we've watched. And all of them have been won in extra time. Will we see penalties today? Turkey have a throw in here. And they have the ball. Plays it in. It falls to Tazdemir in the box. To Sengun. Into Gokalp. To Gokanok! Oh, he wants the hat trick. And the sh second one by Sahin is wide. Okay, Pavlov with the goal kick. I saw it fall to Gok Gokanok, and I was like, here we go. Here's the hat trick. Um, ball into uh, Rud at the moment for Ukraine. To Anderson. To Shopa Valenko. Coming forwards. Shopa Valenko on the ball. Just runs into the players. I don't know what he was thinking there. Tazdemir. Gokanok. Into Sahin. Plays it over to an open Gokalp on the left. Mustafa Gokalp on the left. Coming forward. He's going to try and put a cross. And he does. Falls to Sahin. It's cleared initially. But Ock, Ock, uh, but Savas will get there. Gokan Ok. On the ball again. Sahin. Over to Sengun. Plays it in. Tazdemir at the back. It's cleared again. Gokan Ok picks it up. Plays it again to Sengun. Can he put a cross in? It's, he makes it in. Goka Glan, and he puts it wide. Oh, we're only three minutes into extra time here. Throw into Ukraine. Gerasimov plays it direct. Th just throws it back to Gokanok, and then everybody runs away from him. Ukraine have completely lost all all momentum here. It seems they were they were just cr they were cruising in this game, and and they've just lost all all nerve. It seems Gokan Gokalp with a shot, and Pavlov saves again. Okay, I think Ukraine are probably playing for. Penalties at this rate. Right. 98 minutes gone. There was someone needed a physio, but we're okay. Ukraine throw in. Felipe Anderson. Gerasimov. Plays it into Pivovar. Over to Shapovalenko. Into Anderson. Into Grakov. Plays it up to Rudd, but he's into but the, the Turkish defender gets in front. Gokul Glan now got it on the right hand side. Turkey run forward. Felipe Anderson tries to tackle, but is unable to do it. Tazdemir. Shot is blocked. Bilic into Gokanok. Shot way wide in the end. Okay. Five minutes of the first half in this extra time. And there we go. One minute added time. Will that we see a highlight? No. Half time and extra time. Everybody's tired here. Uh, Sengun looks the most tired for Turkey. Um, but second half of extra time. Here we go. 15 more minutes. Just had a 15-year-old St. Martin come through my academy. He's already third best top player in said nation according to the national team page. Very nice. But uh, here we go. 15 minutes for... Okay, Rod. Oh, Rod with a huge strike there. Tanner Reese with a big save there. They basically just need to get the ball to Rod and make him shoot. <laughs> Drosh in to take the corner. Plays it in. Okay, out for another corner for Ukraine. Maybe they'll try and push in this second half of extra time. Then he just needed some more time to, to settle. Drosh in. Plays it in. Back post. It falls to Shopper Valenko on the edge. Into Anderson. Back to Gerasimov. Who's just tackled by the Turkish player. Okay, and just no one goes near it. Um, Maivavenko. Shopper Valenko is there, though. Into the box. Oh, it's a great shot. It hit the post, I think. My goodness me. No one... What the hell happened there? Oh, my God. Okay, eight minutes to go here. Turkey throw-in. 
Seven minutes. Will we see penalties or will this go, go be won here? Ukraine have the ball back. Anderson goes long, tries to go long to Rudd, but gives it straight back to Turkey. Uh, Gokalp goes to the long range strike and Pavlov tips it over. That was going to in, in the top corner. My goodness, an audacious attempt. Gokan Ok from the corner. Cleared by Troshin. Back out to, to Gokan Ok. Ok plays it in. Grakov will uh, clear again. Tazdemir. Over to Gokalp. Sahin. Back to Gull. Oh, it's a goal! It's a goal from Gokoklan! And yet again, we're not going to be getting penalties! 3 2 Turkey on the volley! Sahin plays it to Gull. What a ridiculous goal from Gokoglan. And Ukraine now need to try and find an equalizer. Their 100% record might be finished in their own host stadium, Krakow. We got two minutes left. Ball in, it's cleared. Oh my goodness me. Turkey, keep it in. Ukraine have bottled it at home. Oh my days. Oh, Turkey, what a comeback, though, for their second ever Euros victory. Gokan Ok, Gokalp coming forward. There's one minute to go. Jarasimov with a great tackle there. Shopovalenko, they've got to go forwards now. They go up to Rudd. Rudd on the ball. He's going to try and play it forward. Okay, Jarasimov into Shopovalenko. Rudd's just running forwards to try and get up, up front somewhere. He doesn't want to be playing it in a throw-in. Less than a minute to go. Can Ukraine find an equalizer? Jarasimov. Grakov, Shopovalenko. Gonna go try and get in. Another throw in. 15 seconds here. Throw in. Ukraine. Rudds. What's he doing there with it? Shopovalenko. Grakov. Jarasimov. Tries to put the cross in. It's cleared by Gull. And Tastamir will get rid of it. And I think that will be it. Turkey are Euro champions for the second time ever. Oh my goodness me, as penalties in Arsenal. Gokhan Ok wins man of the match for coming back from that 2-0 down. My goodness me, what a comeback from Turkey. What heartbreak for Ukraine. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, and I, <laughs> hilariously, I win that. 3-2, <laughs> what a game that was. My goodness me. Wow, okay. Um, no one put 3-2, to be fair. <laughs> but Jesus. Right then. Um... Let's go look at the winners then. So, I I, I do end up winning yellow, 19 points. Silver for Wasonia. Very, very close. P push, push me hard there. Uh, third place goes to Chloe with 15. Anyone have Turkey team? No one had Turkey, no. Uh, I end up with a point. Woo. <laughs> points per game-wise, you needed to play 12 games uh, to do it. So, where are we looking? Um, I think I'm also top with 0.829 yes I, um, it's, a, it's a clean sweep by me you love to see it um squid very close with nine needed three more games to play i think i think we might have a similar situation here where Wilsonia and then yeah okay for the one of the, probably one of the first times it's the same same people for first second third in points and points per game there look at that there we go right let's go look at the awards um, for this, Turkey end up winning. Huge win for them. Um, yep, yeah, Philip Leach quits England. Vaca leaves France. Tran is new Belgium captain. Okay. All right, let's look at the awards. I do think, um, what's his name? Was was uh, top goal scorer then. But Turkey with a huge, like, what a, what a way to win it. Coming back from 2 0 down in the opponent, in, in their home stadium, like the opposite team's home stadium as well. Christ alive. Right, so let's see. Alberto Mora ties. Para wins best player. Oh my goodness me. Robbed. Who? Okay. Five goals, two assists, two goals, four assists. What the hell from Spain? Uh, Marco Men second, Sahin third. Right. Um, Rod gets golden boot. How did... What? Rod, seven goals in seven with one assist. 7.67 average rating. He got an 8.16 Gonzalo Para. I think he was slightly robbed there. Uh, Paul Lack and Nassim, d dream team. You love to see it. Feldhan, Rudd in there. Uh, oh, there were substitutes, actually. Um, right. There we go. Uh, good luck, Gunas fans in the pens. I, <laughs> I, I, I say good luck, Porto. Um, but there we go. There is our 
Euros done. And what a what a way it was. Uh, Turkey end up beating Ukraine in the final. We will be back on, uh, well, Thursday or Saturday, depending on how much testing I need to do. For 253 in season 16 with Thanethi. So I hope you guys enjoyed this evening. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, yeah. The, the euros there have a good night everybody and have a good rest of your mid midweek or week i will see all of you next time have a good one everyone see you later